Thank you. Uh, Tumefika wakati wakubiyo mbedi anigataka wanzie na marafiki alafu familia diyo wata marizia. Utaikiria mlango ile hiko pale mutu akiviu the body atatokea kwa hiyo mlango na kuigia kwa gari. Then the tra transport manager atakuja atuambie vile tutaenda. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Divyo, divyo, tutakavyo, endelea. Marafiki wanze, alafu, tuwa, tumalizie na familia. Kutoka kwa familia, officers, uh, watashukua mwini, alafu, diyo tupate kuelekea. Thank you. Na klaje, wote wakaribi ya hapa. Thank you. Alafiki, wanze.
our last message. Father, in the last, to carry
Să ce bătate? Să ce bătate? Să ce
Asante. Members of the family waendelee kuingia kwa hii hema ambayo iko pande yangu ya kushoto. Officers pande yangu ya kulia na marafiki kwa hema ambayo iko next to hema ya officers. Karibuni. Hii area inaitwa Kambazi. Kambazi is between Yahururu and Nakuru. Only a few kilometers from Yahururu as you.
imevika karaoke was a great friend of mine yetu iko hapa members of the family hema iko hapa thank you mikononi mwa Kenya police na hii baada mtapata mabadiliko labda na mazishi ingine labda tushawahi witness juu hii ni mazishi ambayo iko na a lot of discipline it is a dis discipline force na kwa hivyo tutaona vile tutaongozwa thank you sabe zaita chukua muda kubwa muda mrefu tutaharakisha kwa hivyo hata wale wat, hawatapata viti they bear with us thank you mwenye kuleta maua thank you tukisha tulia tukisha tulia ndio tutaanza ibada yetu wale ambao wanaingia waendelee kuingia ndio tuanze pamoja Asante, tunataka kufungua ibada yetu na maombi. Juu tunataka kuanza ibada immediately. So, right now tunafungua na maombi. Pastor Karibia. Ah, naomba tusimame sote tuweze kupata ombi la kuweza kututanguliza basi tuamini na tuamini baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mwema hakika siku ya leo umeona ni vema tuweze kufika katika sehemu hii ili kwa sababu ya ibada hii maalum ambapo Kristo Yesu umeweza kuipangia tunapoianza tunaalika uwepo wako wewe pamoja nasi zidi kutuliza na kuliwaza nyoyo zetu wakati huu wa majonzi haswa familia hii ya karibu Kristo ukaweza kuwafika kwa karibu Tubariki kila mmoja wetu sasa na milele ni kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Thank you. Nigetaka tuarikwe uh, tukaribishwe katika kikao hiki na Bwana Jaramba kwa dakika moja au moja na nusu. Karibu Bwana Jaramba. Thank you. 
kuwe na basi hii e, ni wasalimia e, kuna moja wenu wana asifiwe wana asifiwe e, mimi na hitu wa e, raba mati tumekaribishwa kilasmi sasa kutoka hapo mtu ambaye nilikuwa nimepea dakika bili ni bwana Jalaba wengine ambao nitaita it is one minute one minute each na nikataka tuogeleshwe na ambaye alikuwa naimba yake bwana Karioki bwana Disho angekuwa hapa na Disho akiondoka kuna kuna jilani ambaye anaitwa mama gachogo na yeye akaribia naye dakika moja tuende hivyo hivyo thank you na wasalimia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo amjamboni kwa jina ni Disho Jenga napenda Yesu ni mwokozi wa roho yangu na inafurahia kuwaona ah nizungumzie kama rafiki bwana karibu tumeishi na yeye tuko maili ine najiita central maili ine na toka wakati bwana John alikuja maili nne amekuwa rafiki mwema sio kwangu tu hata majirani na wema wake wa roho yake na ukarimu wake umetujenga sana ameguza roho zetu za watoto wetu amesimamia wengi roho yake amesomesha wengi ame providea wengi na tunashukuru amekuwa rafiki wa familia sisi tuko around hapo na hiyo jambo ya kupenda kila mtu mkikutana na yeye alikuwa salimia na majirani wanampenda kama area au itora tumeona tu, au tumeondokewa na shujaa na tunaomba Mungu familia afariji familia yake awatulize na najua hata mama magi ni mtu wa watu na wamekuwa rafiki. Nimepewa dakika moja na shukuru hata kuja kusindikisha huyu mmoja wetu kama rafiki, si ni marafiki. Na Mungu awabariki na atendee mema. Asanti. Sasa ni mama Kashogo. Naye dakika bili tu asipitishe. Thank you. Huyu wamekuwa marafiki sana na mama yake marafiki sana na boma hiyo na hata shamba walikuwa neighbors the neighbors wema mama shoko karibu Nina John ya radio tayio wako ikigia na thina ona ni radio tayio wake ikigia na thina kuma hau hali cia leji cia kehe John John ingeruta uira wa John uira wa John ni mundu urare wa fata muno family ona itora na ni mundu tureda ni tena ke muno ne gari akigo kiari dio kiari tio thina wa kirekaniro ati tudiyoro ke dio ni aira ingi muno Mahana tareitu. Nani nani demoira wa Johni 
doka kora ha wega wa joni tondo ni ndiramuthirukeje hana taitu he ana uira tondo ndimuira uria kurero undu mundu ari wa bata ni turaingira nite muno nao tondo ni thiete nginya ngathi uthoni kina ngofu na hindi ya afanga gothoni ni era gamami wao na tugithie ndugatige nyina gacugo kuko ngiari ata mundu murata ndari ata mundu muciari maundu ni macio mothe ndi hau ndugamite tondo na nginya mamu wa kiruruka twatiganite na keitha rimwe na agitiga ndathima kuguo ri ni ndahe na wega wa joni na ngai ni akurehe ongi uhana joni ni akurehe ongi ni akurehe ongi uri rugamaga na family ka joni ugiragiririe muthigitha joni umuthigithe ona no kwehereje ona ona ngwe na akira uri yake bona o ni mundu rari na kwinyia muno na mundu rari na thayu mwingi ugiragiririe kumuthigitha no eheririe kweherere na ari na hinya wa gutwara kuri angi kuko ni mundu redete thayu mundu redeto ni itura ona ngai no amwendete mwathani agocho ngumutigira hau ngai ritwa murathima ni tondo ni ndarikia thank you kwa kuongea kwa kifupi Nigetaka kasi ya bwana John akuje na akikuja hapa wajua atamalizia na ile ile wimbo hakuna kurudi tena kasi ya, ya ya baba Magi akuje na wakuje na wale wanaiba wimbo tunawapea 3 minutes wao wamemaliza God is good another time yes i want to ask all those of us who called john cousin to come together with our spouses and our children yeah, let's yeah let's let's hurry up so that we much as john was our cousin was more of our brother and most importantly a friend and we are so proud of him that he has finished well we are so proud of him that he not only served this uh, his family but he also served this country yes so this is a tribute to john our cousin and an anko to our children as we bid farewell to John, we remember a dear cousin who was a brother to us, always there in times of joy and in times of uh, sorrow. Our dear cousin, whose arrogance was his trademark, the dark, tall, and handsome brother who dressed to kill. John's greatest legacy is the love for, his, the, for, for the family. His parents, siblings his wife his children his in-laws were his second priority after our heavenly father a brave fighter who faced whatever god brought his way with courage and boldness and never complained a dependable humble guy who loved his work even when the tides were against him we bid farewell with tears in our eyes because we shall surely miss John but with great gratitude that John is now free of pain and suffering we thank God for the honor of having John as our cousin our dearest John we are delighted that you knew you, that we loved you and cherished you in life not that you have departed from this life we shall share the memories we shared in our hearts we thank God that he gave you such a loving wife, Mama Shiro. We promise to continue loving and praying for her and the children. And at every opportunity, we shall remind and we shall tell John's children what a great guy John was. John, rest now until we meet again on that beautiful morning. We are going to sing a song. It's a testimony. And we just want to say of the big, great and mighty things that John has done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
God bless you. Asante sana. Kutoka hapa tutakuwa na presentations bili. Alafu tutafunga kipindi cha uimbaji. Nikitaka walimu wakaribie watupe watu tutumbuizi na uri mbamoja tafadhali na waharakishe Thank you Mr. Chairman for this chance that you have given the teachers and as I call upon the all the teachers to gather here I would like to make an introduction as we lay to rest our late brother John Kariuki as the teachers we are, have been working with Royce, the spouse, and therefore we feel it is our noble, it is our obligation to accompany her up to this moment. As you, as this, the group of teachers come forward, we have a representation of the Kipsa, the Kesha, they are here. We have the Kupet, the Kenya National Union of Teachers present, and the person addressing this uh, the gathering. I am Mr. Jao, the BEC, the Nagua West uh, Zone, representing the Kenya National Union of Teachers. We have a song 
a common song we call we invite you to join in the song asante sana Nigetaka kukaribisha elite wakuje watupewi pamoja ndio tufu Ah uh, bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwa majina ni Mr Gideon Mutemi Mimi ndio mwalimu wa Ben Karioki na kama vile mnaoviona sijakuja peke yangu nimekuja na a team we have our students plus teachers and our uh, class reps so i'm just going to bring message of condolences from utumishi and then we are going to present a song then we will be done on behalf of utumishi academy please accept our deepest sympathies we just wanted to let you know that our thoughts are with you and your family we wish we are wishing you and your family courage and peace during this time of mourning as a class teacher of ben karaoke I knew his father as a supporting dad. He always inquired of how Ben was doing. He always supported him with anything that he required. It was May he rest in eternal peace. Amen. Ah, uh, nilipopata news ya baba Ben. Nilishtuka sana na nikashindwa hata vile tutaweza kumwambia kijana. But tulipata nguvu na tukaweza kuambia kijana pamoja na walimu na administration haikuwa rahisi nilimjua kama baba ambaye ni supportive and he was a great father he always called to inquire of how ben was doing as i've read 
Kwa hivyo ninajua familia tunaombea na najua kwamba Mungu atawapatia nguvu. Kwa hivyo sipataki kupoteza muda bali nitaita tu hawa class rep kuja sema jambo moja tu alafu uh, tutaimba wimbo moja. Kuna vijana pia uh, ni Okay. Tutatuongoza kwa wimbo. Sa mama Okay, sa. <coughs> Praise God. Yes. Um, charity, representative of Form 3 Red, where Bon Ben was a member. And all we want to say, it is well. And we pray that God will give us the courage to accept His will. Thank you all. Um, praise God. Praise God once more. Um, my name is Daniel Kimoto. I'm Ben's classmate. Um, we are here to comfort the family and to stand with the family and let the family know that we are together with them in whatever way. And in whichever way it comes, we're still with Ben. Ben, whatever you are, we're here to represent the whole class and to stand with you. May God bless you all and may Ben's father rest in peace. Amen. We are going to sing a song from the hymn, Courage Brother, Do Not Stumble, if you know. You can sing with us. Courage, brother, do not stumble. Though thy path be dark as night, there's a star to guide the humble. Trust in God and do right. Can the road be rough and dirty, and its end for out of sight? Foot with bravery, strong and weary. Trust in God and do the right. Perish policy and cunning, perish all that fears the light, whether losing, whether winning, trust in God and do the right. Some will hate, some will love, some will flatter, some will slight, hit them not and look above you, trust in God and do the right. Simple rule and safest guiding, in what peace and in what might, stand upon our path by Trust in God and do the right. God is sister, do not stumble. Though the path be dark as night, there's a star to guide the humble. Trust in God and do the right. May God bless you. Uh, we tulikuwa tumekuja na kitu. Tukuja tumkwa na tupu. Kwa hivyo, ni tafuta mkabibi. Uh, kile tulikuja na acho, ya kusema pole kwa tutaenda pale pale mama yako haya asante sana ah ni wanautumishi academy tumechelewa sana lakini tunaomba mtuie radhi kwa sababu ya njia na nini na organization kwa lakini all in all Mungu ametusaidia tukaweza kufika. Kwa hivyo mbarikiwe sana na tunapoendelea na hii shughuli naomba Mungu awapatie nguvu na hata awe pamoja nanyi. Si mbarikiwe sana. Asante. Thank you. Wana utumishi. Uh, bado tumeendelea vizuri. Na sasa tutataka kuingia kipindi cha kusoma biology kwa hivyo ningemwalika bwana Peter Kenywa akaribia tusome biology kutoka hapo tusome tribute na kumalizia tribute ndio tutapea officers nafasi yao kwa hivyo bwana Kenywa angekuwa hapa yule ambaye anasoma tribute uh, anasoma biology na wale ambao wanasoma wako na tributes Water watakuja hapa tribute after tribute thank you eh uh, i'm peter kenywa eh uh, i'm cousin to the late john john and uh If you are settled, I will go back, I will go straight to, to the tribute. 
I, I mean to the eulogy. Eulogy for John Mwagi Karioki. The late John Mwagi Karioki was born on 11th November 1966 in Nakuru County. He was the third born of the late Benson Karioki Nyuguto and the late Margaret Wajiro Karioki. He was a sibling to Rosemary Joki, Charles Maina, James Dilango, Jane Wageshi, and David Mwadi, and Linus Karive. The late John Mwangi was a son in law to Joseph Murege Aderuse Wajiro. John was a friend and a brother in law to Mariam Wajiko, Mere Duta, Paul Wagai, Jane Waboy, Collins Oshieng, and David Jane. The Red John Mwangi was a follower of Seventh day Adventist Church, Mailoinya, where, where he was very su supportive in church activities until his demise. The Red John Mwangi started his education at St. Paul Primary in Nakuru, and he did his CPE in the year 1979 and performed well. He went to Langaranga Secondary School and completed his KCSE exam in 1984. Thereafter, he did his A level at Afraha High School, Nakuru, in the year 1986. The late John Mwangi Karioki, after completing his A level, taught at Kenari Secondary School. Thereafter, he got employed at Kenya Power and Lighting Company in Nyeri. In the year 1992, he joined Kegajo Police College, that is National Police Service Campus, NPSC, for training after he was posted to Rongo. Kamagambo Police Station. He later went back to Kegajo Police College as a trainer. After some year, he was posted to Makendo, Makendo Sagana, and was later re deployed back to Keganjo Police College as a trainer. John met the RA for his Lois Nyabula and so remained their wedding on 19th August 2000, year 2005. They were blessed with the four children, Nemure, Margaret Wajiro, Ben Karioki, Joe Morege, and Jair Maina. John became a in the year 2018 and underwent a series of treatment from Outspan Hospital Kenyatta National Hospital, Madari Mason Hospital, Med Hill Hospital, Nakuru, St. Bed Benedict at the War Memorial Hospital, Nakuru. On 17 June 2023, 20, he went to War Memorial Hospital in Nakuru and he received treatment. He received treatment. On 19th June, the year 2023, at 2.50 p.m. he rested. John rested at the age of 56 years. He has left behind, behind a loving wife, Lois Nyabula, and their four children. Revelation 14, verse 13. Blessed are the dead who dies in the road. They will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. Thank you, Bwana Kenywa. Kwa kutupeleka vizuri kwa hiyo eulogy. Na sasa tunaigia katika kipindi cha tributes. Na tutaanza na brother Inro. Sawa. Hiyo mtasoma hii imeandikwa. Tutaanza na brothers wa Bwana Karioki. Kutoka kwa brothers, 
tutaingia kwa Nevius Adenis and then from there na vile nawaita ningetaka wakaribie nikiwaita wanakuja brothers wa bwana Karioki ndio wataanza kutoka hapo Nevius Adenises wakaribie and then from there Nevio adesis nisis wawe tiare dio watafuata thank you tribute to our brother John Mwangi we did not get a last farewell we didn't we didn't get have a chance to say goodbye you were gone before we knew it and only god knows why a million times we will miss him a million times we will cry if only love could have saved him he could have never died in life we loved him in demise we still love him he had a place no one else can fill. It broke our hearts to lose him. God decided to have him left. Without God, he was our brother well on earth. Fear be well, our dear brother. Thank you. Akina Magi. Najua ninyi mna present. Thank you. Praise God. I'm Margaret Wanjiro Maina. I'll read a tribute on behalf of the nieces and nephews. We are blessed with the most amazing parents anyone could imagine. They are caring, supportive, and always encourage us to give our best regardless of the outcome. But we have also been lucky to have another person in our life who has taught us a road. He was our uncle. Though it would be impossible to describe his larger than life persona in a few words. Uncle John, you are gone. But you will never be forgotten. We, we may be apart, but your memory will live within us forever. We are only left with your memories to live with now. He passed away because his body had served its purpose. His soul had achieved what he came to do, learned what he came to learn. So he left a contented man. You have left your footprints with glory on the side of time. Your name will be remembered for a long time, and your story will be told for generations. Your death is the longest parting there ever will be will be between us. There is no separation for those who love with their heart and soul. Lest we peace till we meet again, Uncle John. Two of the hardest things to say in life are hello for the first time. And goodbye for the last. Rest in peace, our dear Uncle John. Thank you, Magi. Uh, two on a tribute, the Bonaben. Took on a tribute, your Margaret, then on Margaret, your daughter, Obona Karyuki, Obona John, and Joe. Kwa hivyo, nafikiri mtatokea the three of you. Dio, mboja kibaliza, wigine afuate. Karibu. Margaret, Ben and Joe. Tribute for Dad. Um, uh, growing up, my dad was a superhero figure in my life. He always had his sense of safety and protection to him, and everything always seemed so easily accomplished if it involved him. Most people found him intimidating due to his huge stature and somewhat stern look, but he was the sweetest and the most entertaining person to be around. Dad cared deeply for those he loved and believed in giving without expecting anything in return. Watching him slowly fade away and reduce to a shell of his former self due to illness wasn't an easy journey and it was quite painful too. And even if he didn't make it, he spent the last six years battling with all he had, the last 19 years loving me and being the best dad there can be, and last 56 <coughs> years living and making the best out of his life. I won't lie, I feel like it was a bit too soon and sudden. And I thought we had all these years ahead of us, but I am grateful for the memories 
and a fine place in the fact that the last one to say to each other is I love you. Praise the Lord. Uh, and then, that was a man who lived in integrity, kindness, bravery, just to mention a few. That self selflessness nature, always putting others first, inspired me to be a better person. He worked tirelessly to provide for his family and create a suitable environment that will move me into a responsible young man. His unwavering support and love made me push through the toughest times, making me have hope and faith that all will be well. His rich sense of humor will cheer me and lighten any dark situation. Honestly, I will cherish the, mem the memories we had together, the uplifting words of advice, and closely hold on to the lessons he taught me. Thank you for being a father, a friend, a role model, and a mentor. I will miss him, but he will always be in my heart, and his legacy will live through all the lives I just touched. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Um, so, I will miss my dad. The time we had together seemed not to be enough, and I would really love to have more time with him. It is hard to let you go, but at least he's not, he's not in pain. He was the best example of what a dad should be. Watching him undergo the pain made me realize what a strong, strong dad and man he was. I thank God, I thank God for the 13 years we had together. And I knew he knew all along how much he meant to me. I enjoyed all the outings we had together. I will miss my dad and will always cherish moments spent together. Thank you. Thank you, Benjo and Margaret. Kwa kujikaza. Wakati huu, ni wa mama Margaret kusoma tribute yake karibu it pains to know that i'll never see my dear it hurts that I cannot see him with my physical eyes. Sit with him, laugh with him. Watch all our children grow up into grown adults, responsible adults. My love, my best friend, a perfect husband, that God gave me very concerned about his family in general. He always left an impact anywhere he passed. Always wanted the best for his children, Maggie, Ben, Joe, and Jane. Always looked out for his siblings. A fighter like a, the soldier he was. He fought bravely. It was not an easy battle, but he fought. With a strong support system, surrounded by family, prayer warriors, Wonderful colleagues from Kiganjo, an East African standby force, committed doctors, and wonderful friends. I cherish moments spent together, 21 years engraved in my heart. We went through ups and downs together in love. My memories of him will live on and on. I thank God for the chance to be with my happy boy. With the last words he said, it is well. I have this assurance that God shall wipe all tears from my eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. Looking forward to the resurrection morning. The Morege family, they are going to present our song. The Morege family.
Asante tumefunga kipindi cha, cha tribute na sasa tunafika nafasi ya officers wa kutoka kiganjo na kwigineko na nigetaka kumwarika our area chief unajua tulikuja tukaingia katika eneo la wenyewe atusalimie na baada ya kutusalimia alike commissioner of kuzi karibu asante nafasi hii inachukua ili kuwakaribisha katika eneo hili la Rogongo sub location kwa majina yangu ni Steven Kenyanjui Munyambo senior assistant chief Rogongo sub location E, tumechukua muda lakini kuna kwa hiyo sitaki kuchukua nafasi kubwa nataka kusema mko karibu ile hii ya Rogongo subukia sub county nitoe kwa zangu kwa familia na marafiki waliofiwa na kwa niamba ya Gao Fraternity subukia sub county nasema poleni sana na Mungu ndiye upeana na Mungu ndiye uchukua kwa hivyo nawaambia wakaaji wa hapa leo naona wageni dio wengi na wasihi tukue na hiyo dispi tusichome picha siku ya leo kwa hivyo tukue dispi kabisa sababu ya masaa nataka kuchukua nafasi hiyo kumkaribisha mfumo wa askari ya kuje kanisa andalisi familia officers wenzangu Ere chief na wale officers wengine ambao walikuwa wanafanya na marehemu na marafiki wote na majirani wa ndugu wetu John na wasalamia tena Mimi kwa majina naitwa Samuel Mukusi ni commissioner of police 
tunatoka Kiganjo na tuko na timu kubwa sana tulisikia uchungu wa kumtesa wenzetu John lakini yote tunaachia Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ndio upeana na Mungu ndio anachukua kwa nafasi hii ningependa uniwe radhi bana MC kwa sababu wakati wenzi kwa sababu wakati wenzetu walisikia tumempotesa tume bana John walishikwa na usuni sana tuliweza kufanya kutayanasa platform ya walimu wote wa kiganjo wale wako sasa hizi na wale ambao walifanya na marehemu mbeleni so nitachukua nafasi ni niombe kama wale ambao walikuwa walimu na marehemu kama wako kuna timu kubwa inakuja eh kwa sababu ya masaa tutaona kama wamefika so wale ambao tumefanya na kaduki mimi nilianza kufanya na kaduki mwaka wa 2006 na nilifurahia kariuki sana alikuwa ya rafiki wangu sana na najua ni wengi sana very senior officers wale wamefanya na kariuki na kwetu sasa hatuli tunasherekea maisha ya marehemu mwenda zake kwa sababu ya yule alikaa vizuri na sisi Kariuki nimeshukuru kwa sababu kabla kuja giganjo kumbe alikuwa mwalimu na amekuja akajiunga na chuo kikuu cha polisi ya giganjo na baadaye karudi kama mwalimu na pia ninashukuru kwa sababu baadaye aliweza kujiunga na UN kama mwalimu. So kando na kuwa mwalimu wa Kiganjo amefunza officers wengi sana na ambao si officers wa polisi peke yake ni officers wenye tapaka mbali mbali. So kwetu hatuwezi ingawa tumelia tumetoa machozi lakini tunasherekea ile kazi nzuri mwenzetu anafanya. So nataka kuomba nafasi hii ni wakaribishe wenzetu sababu wengi naona wamefika na ni wakubwa. Wale tulikuwa instructors kiganjo. Eh uh, Adam Borogi. Leta tim. David Poleni kwa sababu lakini kuja tu tumalizana na hii shughuli wapi. Former instructors wa Kiganjo. Former instructors ya Kiganjo. Karibu sana. Please come, come, come. Sana ni hapo. Sana ni kuja pande baba jeri mko na sumu. Hawa dogo na fanya na hao Kiganjo. Tukiwa na marehemu. Karibu sana bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumusifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu ni mwema. Kila wakati Uh, kwa majina anaitwa James Kimani Mitugo uh, na kama vile mwanamkuzi amesema tumekuja timu kubwa ambao tulifanya kazi na marehemu uh, miaka hiyo ya zamani uh, kwa upande wangu mimi tulianzana naye mwaka wa 2007 uh, na saba kafanya naye miaka tano na mimi nitapata uhamisho nikaondoka uh, na sababu tuko na group 
ambayo huwa tunawasiliana mara kwa mara tunajiita veterans uh, trainers wale tuli train zamani tumeenda tunafanya kazi nje nje lakini bado huwa tuna uh, wasiliana bado huwa tunashirikiana kama kunatokea jambo lolote kwa hivyo kwa niamba ya wenzangu ambao wako hapa uh, wacha kwanza wajitabulishe kila mtu aseme jina lake na pengine pahali hapa alipo alafu pengine nitafunga kwa kutoa rabi rabi zetu tuanze Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. God is good. Amen. And all the time. Amen. Yes, kwa majina mimi ninaitwa Steven Gedimi. Mimi nafanya na DCI. Mimi ni county DCI pale ya Bomet. Kariyo tulikuwa tunafanya naye tulikuwa majirani from the year 2004 up to the year 2007. Asante. Bona zivue. God is good and all the time. I thank you very much. My name is Geoffrey Njogu Kagu. Na tumefanya na karaoke miaka mingi sana. Hata tukakutana mahali jingine tukisika mayant and then that is where we became to know. I came to know we are also related with the karaoke. Ah uh, that is a uh, inyeri lakini tumefanya naye mambo mengi sana. Mama Chiro Kore that is Lisa let us exit it. That is the God's will. There is nothing we can do. We have nothing to do now. Nikuomba Mungu na kumshukuru tumweke my brother my friend. Thank you very much. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Nami kwa majina naitwa Gatiji Mboroki. Naitwa Gatiri Mboroki. Kwa kitu tumefanya na yeye kutoka tu ufo wakati nilienda Kiganjo yeye ndiye alinikadribisha hapa kwa ofisi ya junior training wing because iko kwa offices and then we became good friends na uh, nilikuwa namuita tu JM simuitangi sana John ama nani tulikuwa tunamuita JM kwa hiyo ofisi and he was a very jovial man who used even to encourage us and to make us chiara and he could, it was he was easy to communicate with and they also to relate with other officers mama magi na leta sarambira zangu na mungu awe nani milele amina eh poleni wana matanga mimi naitwa david wafula niko dci kwa anti union traffic and child protection unit sina mengi ya kusema bwana Kariuki alijuana 208 na tukaachana 2012 nilipotoka nikienda kazi pingine other is uh, poleni mungu awape nguvu ya kustahili ile mwapata na tuko pamoja asante ni bwana sifiwe jina ni Jesus Muma John Mwangi Kariuki kwanza nishemeji yangu na mwaka wa 2004 toka 2007 nilipata nafasi ya kufanya kazi naye Kiganjo ukiwa walimu kwa wachana 2007 sisi nikaenda mahali pengine wakati huu mimi na shughulikia masuala ya usalama wa barabara kaunti ya Nyeri sana uh, praise god <coughs> majina yangu ni Geoffrey Rohani uh, mimi nimekuwa tuliajiriwa na the late Mr. Kariuki 1992 kwa hivyo hiyo course ya recruits tulipia kulipitia pamoja then later on 20, 2016 tukaja nikarudi college kama instructor so tumefanya na hiyo miaka yote mpaka mpaka wakati ya mimi February nikatoka huko nikapata uhamisho sasa hii niko coast region Kilifi county ah uh, ningesema mimi nimekuwa ni nimekuwa pamoja tu na Karioki hata wakati mwili ilikuwa iski mzuri I've been visiting him to me visit the family as a group Kiganja fraternity and uh, two weeks before I pass alinipigia akasema nimesikia umpata uhamisho huko Kilifi county he sounded very strong so hata hii maneno kupata 
ilinigonga kwa sababu he called me akasema ameenda review kwa memorial leta ono ni tulan the sun is imefanyika now to the family i'll say mama tota you should be very strong mimi ngesema god will be watching over you na hakuna kitu taharibika mungu atakulinda atalagalia watoto watakuwa and everything will be well thank you very much wallahi sifiwe amen god uh, god is good all the time mimi kwa majina naitwa masharia james Ah, uh, niko mali naitwa Rongo, station naitwa Kamagambo. Ah, uh, karaoke eh uh, rafiki wa karibu. Tuliishi na yeye nyumba moja alipokuja college. Tulika we shared the same house. Tulikuwa tunapika pamoja. Hata I was cracking jokes na wenzangu tulikuja. Sasa zingine tulikuwa tunaiba serela ya magi tunakula. So, uh, He has been a very good friend. Mbaka wakati akapata promotion na kaenda kuishi mahali ilikuwa inaitwa Apollo. But tulikuwa marafiki sana. Na hata hiyo sera la kutulipa haikuenda kure. Tulilipa. So uh, we are saddened lakini the will of God hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kusema lolote. I was so shocked. Mimi niliona kwa WhatsApp because I was even talking to him kuna shughuli fulani <coughs> nilikuwa naomba nisaidie mahali so niliona kwa gazeti na nikashtuka but again tunasema mapenzi ya Mungu yafanyike so guys in a while god is going to give you strength na tuko pamoja tusaidiane god bless bwana sifiwe kwa majina naitwa Eric Omach tulijuana na Mr John 2015 mpaka last year kwa sasa nafanya kazi nyandaro. Asante. Asante. Tuko namna hiyo hao ndi wale tunaita uh, old old colleagues and friends of the late Karioki. Kwa hivyo niseme pia kwa niamba yangu binafsi na kwa niamba ya familia yangu pia na leta na zangu kwa familia. Mungu atawafariji sababu ne, ni yeye tu tunaweza tegemea na tuwezi sema kazi yako iko na makosa. Tumkushukuru tu na tuseme ya kwamba atatuwezesha uh, kuendelea na maisha. Uh, kwa hivi sasa mimi niko Terminal Leaf. I, I used to be the county commander Nyamira. Lakini sasa hivi niko Terminal Leaf naelekea uh, nyumbani. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana. Ningependa <laughs> Wakuja haraka tusalamie. Alakisheni. Hakuna. <laughs> so nitaomba mmoja wata ongea lakini wote watasalamia. Eh waombolezaji wote na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo amjambo. Kwa majina naitwa Roslyn Mapesa. Mimi nitawasalimia tu. John was my colleague in Kiganja. Tulikuwa tunafanya na yeye kazi mpaka muda huu ametuacha. Na bado he was my colleague in East Africa Stand by Force. Ambayo tuko huko kama trainers. East Africa Stand by Force ni trainers ya, ya countries za East Africa zote. So in fact tuko na wall na wenzake from the East African countries mpaka Europe pia ambao tuko na trainers wamehuzunika sana he was a very good man mtu ambaye he was always jovial mtu ambaye could always make us laugh mtu ambaye he could always take the lead whenever we went out for for training we are going to greatly miss him for deni sana habari zenu naitwa Susan Mogambi uh, yes I'm a ESF trainer and a police officer in Kenya and a friend to John 
uh, we knew each other with John when we were young officers, constables. That was around 1993-94 in Megori. Whereby, when we did our police duties and I was with John, I felt I have someone to defend me. We knew when we were with John in police work, he's going to walk even with the 10 prisoners, five and five on this side. We felt so secure to be on duty with him. Uh, John has been a close friend to me. Uh, Royce, I'm sorry we have been talking. I didn't have a chance to meet you, but I know I've met you today and I'll come. Um, John, we have traversed, as uh, Mapes have said, we have traversed out of this country, out of Africa, for training. Uh, today we have people watching from Ghana. The last trip I was with John was in Ghana. That was in May last year. And that time he was not feeling well still, but he was very, very... It is he's one person I've admired. During his sickness, I've really admired him because every day I, I talk to him, I feel the will someone has to leave. And I remember on Wednesday before he passed on on 19th, the Wednesday which was a new map, he called me. And joking in a police work, we say, you are coming strength five. That day I told him, John, you are coming strength seven. Because he had a lot of vigor in his voice. And he told me, yes, Susan, I'm okay, I'm not bad. Another day they were with Royce, I think a week earlier. And he called me again and he told me, Susan, you can't believe I'm driving from uh, Nakuru. I asked him, why? Why are you driving? He said, no. I'm going for treatment, I'm finished, and I'm driving home, but I am with my wife here. I talked to her. Um, I've learned a lot from John. This life we live, the days God has given us in this world. I used to tell him, John, it's not about sickness. It's about when your days in this world are over, you have to live. So, so, manene, ugonjwa. Every time I used to comfort him and tell him, John, thank you, kwe mukonjo ni watu wangapi tumeona wanakufa, memeambia ni wengi sana. So, sorry, Royce and your family. I know we have a debt with the Madam Boroki. We will still come and will come. Because every time we have been making plans with the ESF, some of the trainers came and saw him. We were not able to come, but you will come. I know a day will come, we are going to come. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Your aunt children was an intelligent person. A person who my aunt, when I, we have training, every, every trainer was like, I want to be with the karaoke, because he had an answer for everything. He had a backup, whenever anything is not working, he can come in. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mkusi. <laughs> Thank you, Madam. John is sana, but I can talk a lot about John as an ten. Inaomba sasa niwalike instructors wa giganjo na kwa sababu ya masaa watasemama tu then mimi nitaongea kwa niaba yao. Officers wa giganjo tafadhali ni msimame we are a big team. We loved Karik so much. Nibile ya hatunge to share wote. In fact, tumeacha koma na tupake yake. Otherwise, wakubwa wote wako hapa. Kwa sababu ya mapensi ya John. Madam, just sit. I think uh, in the interest of time, if you allow me, so that we sum it up, and you to invite uh, Madam Demi Commandant. Kwa ni hapa ya my colleagues, we are sorry,
lakini tumesema wakati huu wacha iwe ni sherehe kwetu kwa sababu marafiki wa Kariuki ni wengi sana hiyo ni dhihirisho ya kumaanisha Kariuki alikuwa mchezi mchezi wa watu Kariuki amoge kwa sana that's why we had a commitment and i want to request madam as we go back please pass our record to the commandant is the commandant who has allowed all this entire team na hii magari yote ya polisi commandant hajajuana na kariuki ati kwa sababu ya ile sifa inamkusa commandant na akasema kila muda ambaye anataka kwenda tukumekuja so madam lois we are very sorry for you but mungu atakuwezesha ka ngumu linda watoto unajua mungu atafanya mema sisi kama college kuna yale madam ataongea na kuna ile ambaye sasa sisi tutakuita kuje tuongee kando otherwise uh, we feel sorry for that and at this moment allow me to invite our deputy commandant madam uh, esther to come and uh, proceed thank you madam is good and all the time praise god kwa jina naitwa wangeshi mwangi nikiwa nimevaa kofia kadhaa nikisimama hapa ya kwanza ni kofia yangu mimi kama wangeshi Mr. Karioki na tukimuita Karioki mtuie radhi hivyo ndio tunamjua tunajua yeye ni John Mwangi kwa records na hiyo ndio jina yake but kwa sababu ya ile jamii ametoka tunajiita na wazazi that one we know mtatuie radhi tafadhali um ukisikia Karioki ni instructor alikuwa mwalimu wangu I went to the college in the year 2012 tumekaa naye tangu wakati huo kidogo tu alikuwa ametoka kwenda makindu na I can assure you yale yote yamesemwa ukiongeza tributes even to us as the police fraternity he was all those things i need not repeat in my heart i was feeling kama kifo ingekuwa jambazi kama kifo ingekuwa jambazi i can assure you john hangeenda hii uniform yote unapata tungekuja na siraha zetu zote na kulinda hospitali na kwake nyumbani but kwa sababu kifo tumehesabiwa lazima ingetendeka tunaleta rambi rambi zangu na jamii yangu pole sana kwa madam lois familia kanisa najua kanisa pia alikuwa na majukumu na marafiki wake wote nikivaa kofia ya commandant mahali alikuwa mwisho that is national police college main campus kiganjo kwa niaba ya commandant naleta rambi rambi zake in fact until very late alikuwa amesema atakuja but kwa sababu ya kazi yakaenda mahali kwingine ndipo sakanituma nilete rambi rambi zake tafadhali mpokee familia na jamii na marafiki as mr mukusi has said Commandant Hajui Mr. Kariuki his relative renew in the college but he has given us immense support The family can attest to that Ametembea nasi ametuwezesha paka tumefika mahali tumefika Nikija 
kuvaa kofia nyingine na labda ya mwisho nimekuja nikiwakilisha deputy inspector general Kenya police na yeye alinituma na ujumbe mtaniruhusu nisome ujumbe wake This is a message of condolence addressed to Mrs. Lois Nyambura Mwangi. In respect of number 231583, the late Mr. John Mwangi Kariuki, SSP. SSP is Senior Superintendent of Police. Angekuwa hapa labda, angekuwa hapa nyuma yangu karibu sana. Na nashukuru kwa sababu ni kazi nzuri alifanya. It is with profound sorrow and grief that I have learned the demise of uh, your beloved husband, the late Mr. John Mwangi Karioki, SSP, which occurred on the 19th of June 2023 at War Memorial Hospital Nakuru while receiving treatment. The late John Mwangi Kariuki was enlisted into the Kenya Police Service as a recruit constable on the 1st May 1992. On completion of his initial training, he was posted to the National Police College, main campus Kiganjo, and later was posted to Nyanza region, former Bay County, From where he has served in several places, which include Rachonyo, Kisumu, Regional Training Center Makindu in Eastern Region, and lastly, National Police College Main Campus Kiganjo, as the Deputy Head of Faculty Police Professionalism. Due to his discipline, hard work, and education, The late John Mwangi Kariuki rose through the ranks and attained the rank of Senior Superintendent of Police at the time of his demise. By his untimely death, the Kenya Police Service has lost a disciplined and dedicated officer. His death is a big loss to both the family and the National Police Service, more so to the National Police College main campus. Kiganjo. On behalf of the Inspector General, National Police Service, and the entire police fraternity, I convey my sincere and heartfelt condolences to you, your family, and friends during this time of grief and sorrow. May the Almighty God rest his soul in eternal peace. Amen. Signed by Douglas Kanja Kirosho, EBS, OGW, Deputy Inspector General, Kenya Police Service. Allow me to hand over this message of condolence to Madam Lois Nyambura. In addition, the Deputy Inspector General sent us with this souvenir. Anytime you look at this, it is in memory of John Mwangi Karioki. Nawashukuru wote kwa kuwa watu libo. In the interest of time, I will not take so much time. Madam Lois, 
עדיף. You have to be strong, not to anyone else, but for the sake of your children. Lakini na kuakikishia, God will always come through for you whenever you are in need. You only need to call him. Thank you. God bless you. mkuzi kwa kutupeleka katika hiyo kipindi na tumeshukuru sana na niseme kama familia wako na shukurani mingi jinsi ya vile mumesimama na wao tumefika wakati wa kuingia kwa kanisa hata ikawa tumeshe, tumepitisha kidogo kanisa mumeona hakuna mahari tumeenda kombo ni kulikana na vile mambo ili ilivyokuwa kwa hivyo karibuni wakati ni wenu wa kanisa thank you bwana asifiwe nisalimie hawani bwana asifiwe praise god Amen. thank you very much mtachukua fursa hii niweze kumkaribisha elda lois atusomee fungu elda karibu hamjambo wana wa mungu hamjambo tena kwa heshima tusimame tukisoma neno la mungu neno la mungu linatoka kutoka kitabu ya first thessalonians first thessalonians chapter 4 13 and 14 the question they had was about death and what happens when people die and as the Thessalonians were trying to comprehend what death was Paul wrote this message but i would not have you be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not even as others who have no hope For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so them also that sleep in Jesus will God bring with him unaweza kesi Amen Thank you very much for the one at this moment I would like to welcome our choristers Church Colistas watu ongoze na wimbo na mbali 10 uh, hema ya kwanza ambayo iko katika our pamphlets ambazo tumepewa tusimame wote kwa huu wimbo na mbali 10 Kristo wa neema yote Colistas karibu Christo one sing Christo one hebayote inishamba yowangu ni forizo ya baraka ina amsha shangweku ulifunze ni Shukuru sana Bwana aliwezesha uku salama 
niongoza hata kule nyumbani Yesu ali nitafuta njia nyingi ni kwake akato adamu yake nipone hatari mimi kweli mimi wiwankubwa wale hema daima wema wako unifunge zaidi kwako bwana kabla tuketi tutaobewa tusiketi kwanza ninataka kusema kwamba huo wimbo haukuwekwa hapo kwa makosa that was uh, John's favorite song hiyo ndio wimbo ambao alikuwa anapenda sana na ndivyo ukawekwa pale kwa nyumba yake namkaribisha pastor Kimadi aweze kutuombea pastor karibu Okay. Tuombe. Baba baba Mungu ishie juu mbinguni. Wewe peke yako hakuna kitu kinaweza kukustua. Pia wewe ambaye hakuna kitu kinaweza kukupata kwa ghafla. Tena wewe si kama mwanadamu tegemea chochote. Hawezi ukategemea ewa ili kupumua au kutegemei hata chakula kuishi. Wewe ndiye Mungu peke yake mba na peke yake yote sisi wa Mungu na malaika na vyote vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana Mungu mtukufu wewe ndiye kuomba sisi ndiye kwa sababu na kukushukuru wa kambi hii Baba katika kila siku malaika mtume na kwa katika wale wako ili Bwana usikuguze na toe hiyo hai wakati huu Bwana tunakuja kwanza kuongelea kifo mmoja wetu ambaye tumeamini kwa sisi kama kanisa tunaamini ndio ambapo mfano tumekuwa tishi mfano aliweza kuwa kikundi ya dar na siku kuja Yesu kirudi mayunguni atakuwa pamoja na wale watakaofufuka kama neno lako lilivyosema bwana wetu tunaomba ukafaliji familia wakati huu tunaomba ukatutie moyo moyo na bwana ukubali kwamba kuongea na kuongea na kila mtu kwa kufanya uamuzi wa mfalme kujiunga pamoja na Yesu Kristo na kuachana na mambo ya dunia hii naomba utakaze na utusaidie mfalme kufanya maandalizi kwa ajili ya mfalme ujao atakuwa wasi neno lako litakapo litakapozungumzwa kwa muda mchache na mtumishi wako Bwana naomba mfano ukaweze kuzungumza nasi na kututia moyo saindi na kutuwasaidia mfalme kuangalia mfalme Mungu saindi ama beyond the death. Tusaidie kuangalia asubuhi hiyo nzuri ambao utakaporudi Yesu Kristo na kutuchukua kwenda mawinguni na kuishi na wewe milele. Asante Mungu kwa sababu umesikia maombi yetu na umeyajibu sawa sawa na mapenzi yako. Ndiposa tunaomba hayo katika jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Thank you very much. Kanisa ambalo linaongoza huduma hii ni kanisa la Adventista that is Seventh Day Adventist Church. Mimi ninaye ongea anaitwa Gerard Mwangi, mzee wa kanisa wa kanisa ambalo Lois na watoto wake na pia dugu yetu Karioki alikuwa anahudhuria wakati alikuwa nyumbani. Kwa hivyo uh, that is why I'm here. Uh, ningetaka kuchukua fursa hii niweze kuwakaribisha nyote njisikie mko huru katika kanisa hili la maobolezi njisikie mko huru mahala ambapo mnafaa kuwa kwa nafasi hii ningetaka kumkaribisha uh, pasta wangu pasta Kanyoro ambaye ni pasta wa district ya Ruru ili aweze kuendelea 
na makaribisho mengine. Pasta, karibu. Ah, na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Bwana asifiwe. Salimiane hewani. Praise God. God is good. And all the time tunashukuru kwa sababu ya kuja kwenu hapa. Ah, ni kwamba tuna furaha hata kama tuna majonzi. We are happy to see you guys here ukishirikiana pamoja na wenzetu. Ah, kabla sijatoa makaribisho nitoe rambi rambi zangu binafsi kwa familia ya JM Kariuki dada yetu Lois pamoja na Magi na nimesikia Magi there is someone who owes you a packet of celerac hapa kwa hivyo hatutatoka hapa kabla <laughs> haujalipwa hiyo jambo okay kina Ben pamoja na Juu na JL Mungu wa faraja zote awe pamoja nanyi ah nichukue nafasi hii kuwakaribisha washiriki wote washiriki wote wa Kiadventista kanisa la Kiadventista Let me see you by show of hands niwaone washiriki wote simameni simameni washiriki wa kanisa la Kiadventista mahali ambapo walipo sio hapa tu kwa hii hema i can see can you wave to the congregation sawa sawa uh, nichukue nafasi hii pia kuwakaribisha the clergy sijui kama kuna wahubiri ambao tuko na wao hapa miongoni mwetu kando na seventh day adventist clergy nafikiri tuko na other clergy members ambao wako hapa sijui kama kuna wao kina bishops there are so many people wanajiita pia reverends are they here oh we have one here kuna wengine wako pale uh, god bless you so much uh, can you wave to the congregation please uh, tunawadhamini sana tunashukuru kwa uwepo wenu hapa kwa niaba ya wao ningeomba the chaplain from keganjo ndugu yetu makao Can you come and say something on behalf of the clergy ambao wako hapo? Thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Ndio kwa majina ninaitwa Reverend John Makau, the college chaplain na nimeokoka Yesu Kristo ni Bwana. Ah, uh, niseme tu ya kwamba tumeishi vizuri sana na John. Nimemjua kwa miaka mingi hata wakati siku wa college alikuwa anafanya kazi pamoja na mke wangu kule Kiganjo na mimi baadaye nikamjoin later 2014 we have been working together nashukuru Mungu maana amekuwa mwalimu wa, wa nguvu sana amenisomesha na hakika naweza attest to that ya kwamba ni mwalimu shababu na hakika tutaishi kumkumbuka otherwise Mungu awabariki sana sitaki kuchukua muda mwingi sana maana mengi yameongea kuhusu John but he has, good, he has been a very good man tumefurahia kukaa naye kule Kiganjo uh, as a family na amekuwa ni mtu wa watu sana so may the lord god bless uh, the family na wapee nguvu maana jambo hili kama vile mimi nilivyosema it is appointed for man to die once and after that the judgment so we are in appointment na Mungu ya kwamba sisi wote tuko hapa iko siku tutatoka katika dunia hii na kwa hivyo letu ni kujitayarisha na kujiulizwe je nitakapotoka itakuwa namna gani maana John amemaliza safari yake sisi sasa ndiyo tumebaki na ni hakika ya kwamba hiyo safari tunaienda na ni vizuri kujiandaa kwa ajili ya hiyo safari Mungu awabariki sana asante Nashukuru uh, elders kutoka kanisa la Adventist wa Sabato sijui kama mpo hapa Elders tusimame. Can you wave? Can you wave? Basi, kaeni chini. Uh, kwa niaba ya klaji wa Seventh Day Adventist, ningeomba pastor ambaye ni chaplain wa Kiganjo, pastor wetu Pastor James Kimadi aweze kusimama pia aseme jambo. Karibu Pastor Kimadi. Ah, asante. Naomba nisalimie wa Kristo wote bwana asifiwe. E, ukiona mtu ajaitikia salamu huyo sasa tunahitaji kumhudhuria. Wacha nirudie hapo sikia vizuri. Wa Kristo wote bwana asifiwe. Amen. Wa Kristo ni wengi. Wale wote sasa wanaenda mbinguni bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ah, ah, wa, mbinguni ni wengi. Asante sana. E, mimi ndiye naitwa e, Pastor James Kimavi. E, mimi ndiye pasta wakati huu tukishirikiana na kina makao na wengine wa polisi wote Kenya 
wanatuinua pale kiganjo na tumekubaliana na nimeshukuru kwa ujumbe wa mwenzetu ambaye ametuacha ya kwamba polisi wote pia wanaenda mbinguni mnasemaje yeah. so ukiona polisi ambaye anaambia hivi visivyo huko nje si wa kutoka hapa bwana sifiwe hawa ni walimu ambao wanaongoza wale wote polisi wanaenda wapi mbinguni ama nyinyi maofisa nimeongea uongo wamesema huo ni ukweli bwana asifiwe haya tumeshukuru sana na nashukuru na pia kutoa pole zangu kwa familia e, mam na watoto pole sana e, i was not able to meet kaliuki but nimemkuta e, ya kwamba wakati ameenda kwa matibabu na nataka niwambie bila nimesikia hata washiriki ambao niko nao pale ya kwamba kaliuki alikuwa mtu mwaminifu na mimi ningependa kuambia tukanyange hizo nyayo za kumpenda Mungu na kujitolea kwa vivyote bila kumtukuza Mwenyezi Mungu. Sasa kwa, kwa niaba ya kanisa nataka ni some tribute ya Mungu. Ili somo ya kaliuki hapa vizuri. Na hii hii ya Mungu ni ya kwa watu wote. Na iko kwa hiyo karatasi ambayo uko nayo. Hiyo 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 iko hapo. Angalia hapo haikusomwa na sikii kama itasomwa. Wacha ni sehemu ya lafu ni keti. Hapo chini kuna maneno ya Mungu mwenyewe. Inasema kutoka kitabu cha Ufunuo 14 mstari wa ngapi wale wako na hii karatasi? 13 tusome pamoja. Inasema blessed are the what? Who, who does what? Uh -huh. From now what? Yes. They will do what? Aha. Sasa acha nikwambie vile Mungu anakuambia hapa. Mungu anasema saizi. Kuanzia saizi kuna watu watakupa duniani. Nani amesema hivyo? Kuanzia lakini amebarikiwa yule atakaye kufa ndani ya nani? Eh, hey, ndani ya nani? Ndani ya Kristo kwa sababu nini kamfuata? matendo yake kama utakufa ndani ya Kristo matendo mazuri itakufuata lakini hata pia kama utakufa nje ya Yesu Kristo kuna matendo yatakufuata kuna watu watakufa na watafuatwa na wake wengi <laughs> naona mtu anacheka kuna watu watakufa lakini watafuatwa na vitendo vya ujambazi mahali Mungu amekujalia kuwa na familia kuwa kazini tafadhali tenda matendo mema kwa sababu kifa yatafanya nini no i didn't hear you yatafanya nini bwana sifiwe wale watu wanaokubali wakikufa no nataka nikwambie kifo iko in case tufe kabla Yesu wa alundi nataka nikuita mwito wa kuokoka tena kama unataka Mungu akusaidie we ufuatwe na matendo mema peke yake inua mkono wako Si unaona wale wanaenda mbinguni angalia jinani yako Bwana sifiwe Mungu wabariki sana na mamu tutaendelea kukuombea kanisa liko pamoja nawe na sisi tuta tutajiandaa kama kanisa pia mahali ambapo alikuwa anafanya kazi e, tuone tutakuja kukutembelea nini mlini Mungu awabariki sana Asante. Tunashukuru Pastor Kimadi kwa sababu ya wazo hilo nzuri. Ah, uh, nitoe historia kidogo ya mwenda zake. Japo kuwa tujakuwa naye for so many days, I'm the resident pastor pale. Uh, the sunset days of his life tulikuwa pamoja naye. Na as the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter number 7 verse 8 Inasema kwamba the end of a thing is better than its beginning. Kwa hivyo I'm very positive kwamba vile tulivyokaa chini na JM Karioki tukaongea mambo ya Mungu, we did even the anointing service na ikamfurahisha sana I believe he has rested in the Lord. Kwa hivyo wakati huu ningependa kukaribisha kwaya ya Nyahururu Central ili waweze kuja kumkaribisha mnenaji wa siku ya leo. Karibuni kwaya.
Tunashukuru sana kwa wimbo huo bila kupoteza muda ningependa nichukue fursa hii kumkaribisha pasta Robert Kiarie sijini wangapi pamoja nami wanamkaribisha pasta Kiarie basi karibu mtumishi wa Mungu Na wasalimu nyote 
katika viwango vyenye vyote na hadhi zenu zote kwa unyenyekevu wote na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Uh, nashukuru kwa sababu eh, MC na wote ambao wametangulia wamejaribu kuokoa muda ngawa umewachenga tu kidogo <laughs> lakini hata nami pia nitajaribu kuokoa muda na niseme ya kwamba kabla tujaingia kwa mahubiri ndugu John ah tumejuana kwa muda pasta ambaye amenikaribisha pasta Kanyoro ndiye nilie mkaribisha eneo la district ambalo e, tu, nilikuwa nina hudumu la nyahururu kabla Kanyoro aingie so tumejuana kwa na John zaidi ya muda wa miaka ine hivi na tangu tujua, tujuane let me say that uh, i had a friend in John na urafiki wetu sijaurigret kwa vyovyote vile kwa sa sababu John eh, dakika za mwisho mwisho tuliweza kuwasiliana na tulikumbushana tulikuwa tumefanya agano na tulikuwa na imani kwa Mungu angepona ya kwamba angepona ningalimbatiza ningalimbatiza simsemi amina na ninafurahi mama dada yangu Royce dakika za mwisho walipokuwa naye aliniambia ndugu John aliomba na akaomba Mungu amuongezee muda kama ni mapenzi yake lakini akasema kama akifa angependa kurara kulingana na kitabu kemadhi ametusomea kwa sababu ndugu John tulikuwa niseme nimesikia alikuwa mwalimu na nimesikia alikuwa mwalimu wa hali ya juu lakini pia nami nilikuwa mwalimu wake wa Biblia <laughs> na alikuwa anati kando na kuwa mwalimu Eh, deputy commandant nataka kukuambia John pia alikuwa mwanafunzi mzuri wa Biblia. Na sijapewa hii nafasi kwa sababu mimi ndiye mhubiri chupafu sana katika kanisa la Adventista wa Sabato. Wako wengi hata wa hali ya juu kuniliko. Lakini John mwenyewe dakika za mwisho aliporara alisema angependa kupumuzishwa na angependa katika mahu... alikuwa ameniaidi tutakuwa tunahubiri angependa katika ma... eh, akirazwa kama angelala angependa mchungaji pasta kiali aliye mdogo miongoni mwa wachungaji wa wasabatu ahudumu kwa hivyo niko hapa tu kwa sababu ya heshima na request kind request ya John angependa nihubiri katika masishi yake kwa hivyo eh, kwa sababu ya hiyo heshima I'm humbled na ninaomba Mungu anisaidie kuhubiri kana kwamba ni John mwenyewe angalisimama hapa ahubiri kwa sababu tulikuwa tunaongea na tunafanya mzaha na muuliza na ukilitaya utakuwa nini akani ananiuliza na nikikuwa mchungaji kama wewe <laughs> so ningependa Mungu tu anisaidie ile ujumbe nitatoa wale ambao eh, hawakuinua mkono kimadhi alipouliza <laughs> ni wangapi wangependa matendo yao mazuri ya wafuate wapatikane hapo kwa sababu ya ndugu John aa, ambaye nitahubiri kwa sababu yake siku ya leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe na kwa sababu muda umesonga ningependa niombe alafu tupate neno la Mungu hebu tuamini tuombe Mtakatifu Yesu naishi mahali pa juu mbinguni. Tunapoenda kuangalia neno lako takatifu. Ebu mimi tu nilie chombo ukanitumie kupitia kwa roho wako mtakatifu. Nikanene na watu hawa ambao wamekuja kumpumuzisha ndugu yetu John. Na katika kunena kwangu wengi wamkubali Yesu awe mwokozi wa maisha yao. 
wayashinde mauti ambao ni adui ya wanadamu wote na Yesu arudipo asubuhi njema John awekwe taji kwa sababu ya mahubiri ambayo atahubiri siku ya leo kupitia kinywa changu na kupitia nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Asanti Yesu kwa sababu umekubali niwe chombo chako siku ya leo. Hebu jitukuze kupitia kwangu ni katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na hata kuamini sisi wote tuseme Amen. Ah. Hadithi ilielezwa ya jinsi kulikuwa na mzee mmoja ambaye hakupenda kufa. Kama vile sisi wote hatungependa kufanya nini? Na huyu mzee inasemekana alikuwa mzee mwenye hekima. Kinyume na wengi wetu ambao hatutambui mauti ya uh, kifo kinapokuja. Yeye kila wakati alikuwa anaona kifo kikija ana anajificha. Na siku moja kifo kikaja kwake masaa ya mchana. Na kama kawaida inasemekana kifo kilikuwa kinabeba mzee kifo. Anaitwa mzee kifo kwa hiyo hadithi. Alikuwa anabeba list ya watu wenye watakufa kijiji hi? hicho. Ah. Na siku hiyo alipoingia kwa mzee John Palet on top of the list. Wacha tumuite mzee John. On the top of the list ilikuwa ni jina la John. Na John alipoona kifo kimeingia akaambia mke wake, kifo kimekuja. Na dhamira yangu inaniambia kwa list yake mi ndio namba. Sasa ufanye hivi mzee kifo. Ah mama ma, mke wangu umupikie umukaribishe umupikie haraka na umupikie vizuri ili na mimi nipate muda wa kuangalia kwa listi yake ni nani na nani ako kwa the top of the list a ah? na kama matarajia ya mzee John kifo kilipoingia kilipokaribishwa na mke na mzee kifo akapewa chakula akara akashiba na akapatwa na kausingi Alipopata usingizi John akanyemerea kama vile nilisikia ndugu mmoja alikuwa ananyemerea anapita na eh, sere la ya, ya, ya magi <laughs> na usijali nitaongea na hiyo ni dhambi kidogo anaweza sameo <laughs> lakini lazima atoe kitu kidogo si ndio so akanyemerea kwa faili ya mzeki na akatoa Mzee John akatoa eh, list akaona kwa hakika ako on top of the akaharakisha kabla mzee kifo afanye nini akageuza ile list from ule alikuwa wa mwisho akamleta wapi wakati mzee kifo aliamuka akakuta faili zake zimewekwa vizuri akasema he na hapa kwa mzee John nimewezwa leo <laughs> na nimekula vizuri na ni lazima nitoe shukura. Shukurani ambazo nitatoa hapa ni ya kwamba mzee John alikuwa on the top of the na hata fanya nini? Hata kufa instead yule alikuwa namba mbili ndiye atafanya nini? And for that reason sasa nilikuwa nimebeba faili yangu ikiwa imesima nimeigeuza upside <laughs> na John akawa ameku Nataka kushirikiana na Madam Deputy Commandant. Aki ukweli wa mambo. Kama kifo kingezuiwa na maombi, sometimes inazuia, lakini si kila wakati maombi inazuia. Because death is so powerful than you may think. And I will give you uh, what I am about to speak of, it is the mystery of death. Death is a mystery. Na kama kweli kifo tungeomba mimi ningeenda kujifunga ili John asife kwa sababu tulikuwa na mipango mingi sana na John na ukweli wa mambo hata alitumana message akaniambia uniombe my pressure imeenda down baada ya upale and indeed nilikuwa barabarani nikaweka gari kando 
na nikanongonezea Mungu jambo na kusihi umsaidie John apone kwa sababu nilijua kama hiyo ugonjwa ungeshindwa na John tungeweza kuwa na ujasiri ya kutangazia watu kansa inapona lakini zaidi Yesu anaponya kansa so niliomba lakini maombi yangu hayakuto na karibu ningekuwa disappointed wakati nilisikia John amelala because indeed niliomba lakini nikakumbuka Yesu siku moja akaenda pale Gethsemane na Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu akapiga magoti akaomba baka matone ya, jas, ya, 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 ya damu ikamto akaambia Mungu baba kama kikombe kama ingaliwezekana ufanye nini kifo kikamwambia Yesu mimi sida shida na mwana wa Mungu niko na shida na mwenye yako na hii damu ya Adam na kama uko nayo leo sikusamehei our jesus hakusashwa na na kifo hata yeye na maombi yake mengi he faced death meaning death is a so powerful thing it is a cosmic power that no human being that no scientist that no doctor can overcome death but there is one somebody ambaye nitawapatia nyinyi wote mwende naye nyumbani this man is the same jesus christ ambaye licha ya kwamba alipatwa na mauti mwishowe aliyashinda na sasa hako mbinguni anaishi milele na milele so ningependa tu kuzungumzia kwa kifupi kuhusu mystery of death na kama vile tumesomewa fungu na our elder Royce fungu lenyewe wa the Soronike walikuwa katika hali ambayo sisi wote tuko siku ya leo ambayo tunajiuliza maswali mengi unajua wakati wa kifo ndio unajiuliza maswali mengi ndio unapata na wasiwasi especially wale walika wa John wanaanza kufikiri hata sisi tuko karibu ku kufa so nataka tujaribu sita sitsemi nitajibu maswali yote lakini tukijibu yale tumepewa katika Biblia utakuwa na tumaini ambalo limepita matumaini yote ya kwamba japo utarara na utarara ndani ya Yesu kuna uhakika ya kwamba asubuhi njema utakuwa miongoni mwa wale watafufuka waishi na Yesu milele na milele mahali ambapo hapana kifo tena sasa nataka tuende katika historia ya kifo kidogo na ninataka tuingie katika kitabu cha Biblia msomaji na ningependa siku ya leo tuanze katika kitabu cha hebu nisomee wa Efeso moja ine kwanza alafu tuende katika kitabu cha Ezekiel 20 Eh eh na nani ehe tusome ehe wa Efeso 1:4 mhm nasema hivi ndio kama vile aliv alivyo tutangua katika yeye mm-hmm. kabla ya kuweka misingi ya ulimwengu ndio ili tuwe watakatifu oh, tutulie Mungu alituchagua lini kabla ya kuweka misingi mimi napenda ya napenda kuhubiri kana kwamba niko kwa darasa Halo. <laughs> na sasa muwe wanafunzi wazuri. Si ndio? Haya. Napenda tusome vile tulikuwa tunasoma na John baka tunaelewa. So, Mungu alituchagua lini? Kabla ya misingi ya ulimwengu. So, swali, mimi na wewe tulikuwa wapi kabla ya misingi ya ulimwengu? <laughs> that we are older than this world because god would have not chosen us if we didn't exist so we must existed somewhere else before we came to this world there was an existence of you and me elsewhere and that elsewhere we call it in theology eternity past bwana yesu asifiwe anything that exists started somewhere and before it starts it begins as a thought in the mind of man ukiona vile tuko hapa mpango huu wote 
ulikuwa ndani ya mawazo ya watu alafu sasa umewekwa practically tunaendelea tulikuwa tunaketi kwa committee na chairman si ndio naye Mungu inendane the past when no creation existed he got an idea and the first idea of god was to create man and women men and women to be his friends amukuelewa yani mungu in eternity past kabla aumbe dunia na aumbe universe na aumbe vitu vyote the first idea ya mungu ni kuumba wanaume na wanawake wewe na mimi ukiweko kwa huo mpango uliofanywa enzi ya umirere ya kwamba aumbe wanadamu si wawe maadui wake wawe marafiki zake na waishi na yeye in communion nzuri ya furaha ya mirere na bwana Yesu asifiwe na ninajua bado ijasink aro Yaani mpango wa Mungu alipokuwa anapanga huko umirere plan yake kuumba mwanadamu hakumba mwanadamu ili apatwe na maradhi ili apatwe na mateso dunia hii ili ya afe alimuumba aishi mirere na Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen na ikawa hivyo lakini mimi huwa nasema tumeambiwa dunia <laughs> it might be younger than human beings katika mawazo ya nani katika mawazo ya mwanadamu eh, ya Mungu kwa sababu hata mimi naamini kina mama mnajua vizuri sana wa mama wabarikiwe walinizaa usiku nikanyonya nikapangwa vizuri wanaume wakiamka asubuhi walikuta mwanaume yako sawa bwana Yesu asifiwe kina mama wakina mama ni watu wa maana sana katika dunia hii. So wanaoa kina mama ndio wanajifungua. Hebu munieleze kina mama kati ya mavazi ya mtoto na mtoto ni nani mzee? Nini huja kwanza? Nini hufanya kingine kije? What contributes to mavazi kununuliwa kabla ya kujifungua? So who is older? <laughs> Dunia hii ukisoma katika kitabu cha Isaya haikuumbwa tu iliumbwa ili mimi na wewe tuishi kwa dunia hii. So the first thought of God was to create man. Lakini akaona mwanadamu nikimuumba ataishi kwa hewa. Haro? Ataishi bila vyakula akaumba baka Adam akaona Adam aezi ishi peke yake lazima mtengenezee na mwanamu so dunia hii iliumbwa kwa sababu you were already in the mind of god and to surprise you even angels were created because of you haro the way we are seated here mnaonaka muheshimiwa his excellency william ruto anaidi dikapo Sendio? Kila mmoja wetu vile muko hapa ni vile hamuoni kwa macho ya kiroho. Kila mmoja wetu anaidi dikapo. Mungu alipoona atamuumba rafiki yake, akaona anahitaji a servant. You are created to be a king to rule. Adam na Eve walipoumbwa, aliambiwa utawa. Lakini malaika walipoumbwa hawakuambiwa watawale. They were created to be sa vile tumeketi hapa uwe mubaya uwe jambazi mu kuna matendo tumeambiwa yatakufua kuna edi dikapo anaenda akikufuata ukiingia kwa toilet umefanya nini <laughs> kila mahali unaenda na akifika hapo kwa toilet anaheshi maana simama namna gani ili huyu this treasure of god imalize shughuli akitoka anatoka na we vile tunaongea hapa a edi dikapo wa John ako hapa amesimama atatufuata mpaka kwa kaburi atachukua rekodi yote ya maisha ya John na atapeleka ripoti kwa baba binguni ili asubuhi njema hukumu itakapokuwa inafanywa faili ya John itakuwa imewekwa sawa sawa Bwana Yesu asifiwe In other word nataka kukwambia wewe ni mtu wa maana sana 
Lakini kabla Mungu atuumbe kabla atutoe atoe mpango wa mwanadamu kwa mawazo yake. Akasema lazima nimuumbie mwanadamu malaika huyu. Akaumba malaika. Na alipoumba malaika that is where the problem began. God ha, um, never created any being aishi muda mrefu. Tuliumbwa na kitu inaitwa conditional immortality. God alone is immortal. Yeye yeah, hawezi kufa kwa vio. Lakini maraika waliumbwa na conditional immortality. Wangeishi binguni kulingana na mapenzi ya Mungu, hawange, hawange kufa. Adam na Eve wangeishi kulingana na mpango wa Mungu, hawange kufa. So, hiyo ndiyo inaitwa conditional immo. Ukifanya hii utakufa. Usipofanya hii utakufa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, ki hata maraika wako binguni saa hii wako na kitu inaitwa conditional imota hawafi kwa sababu hao hawajatenda dha sasa akawaumba akaumba maraika and when he created he gave a eh, maraika pia ni wanajeshi wa Mungu ni askari wa Mungu na hakuna askari wanaishi bila commandant hello he gave them commander wa maraika na akampatia jina nzuri aliitwa Rusi Rusifa na Biblia inatuelezea kuhusu Rusifa amezungumziwa metaphorically katika kitabu cha Ezekiel 20 eh, 28 angalia mstari wa 13 28 verse 3 nasema uh-huh. hivi uh-huh. tazama Taza. Kama we ulikuwa msengenyaji, masengenyo yatakufanya nini? Na hawezi kudanganya Rusifa. Na Rusifa msicheze na yeye. Nasikia kwa wamama wakiimba, akija juu, rukia, akija chini, kanyaga, akija mbele, onani walika yako. <laughs> Kama wanaume kako na 6000 hii ya dunia hii, na binguni hatujui kalikuwa na miaka ngapi? anajua nyanya yako na babu ya nyanya yako <laughs> Demo is older than your grandmother don't joke with him He is a very bright guy Those who overcome devil is those who believe in Jesus Christ and who have the name of Jesus You can only defeat the devil not by gun not by education not by wealth you can only defeat the devil in the name of Jesus sasa kamuzee ndi yako kaliumbwa kakiwa sawa sana kalikuwa perfect ehe hebu tueleze kidogo ehe hapana neno la siri watu wawezalo kukuficha ndio kwa hekima yako kwa hekima yako rusiferi na kwa fahamu zako na kwa fahamu zako umejipatia utajiri umejipatia utajiri devil is so rich by the way and i have realized one thing about devil People don't go to devil because they love him. And one day I was a drunkard. Hello. Na kama kuna watu wanachukia Rusifa, ni wale? Aki akatokea dunia hii, si askari watamkamata kwanza wa dili na yeye. Kabla askari wafike, wale hivi watakuwa wamemalizia sheta. They don't like him. Even the sinners hata makahaba hawapendi sheta. Lakini shetani anapendwa kitu moja tu. Hako na uta. Ukisikia mtu ameenda kwa Illuminati, ameenda kutafuta nini? Shetani akatangazwa bankrupt. Isemekane hana ki? Hakuna mwenye ataenda kwake. Kwa hivyo watu si shetani wanapenda wanapenda utajiri. 
Ehe tuendelee ehe. He so rich guy, he's a rich guy. Nawe umepata dhahabu na He, fedha katika hazina zako. Kama unataka dhahabu enda kwa shetani utazipata katika hesina yake. He. Kwa hekima yako nyingi, kwa hekima yako nyingi Luciferi na kwa biashara yako. Na ni mchapa biashara kuliko wa na wa kikuyu. Hapa kuzina wa ikoi. Na ninafikiria kama ningeulizwa mimi nilidhani shetani ni mkizi ama ni mkikuyu. <laughs> Because wakisi na wakikuyu hawatakosa binguni kitu ingine si use, si ukora watakosa mahangaiko na mahangaiko ya kutafuta pe? Yes. Kama wakisi na wakikuyu vile wanatafuta pesa ndio wanamtafuta Yesu. Wakisi wote na wakikuyu wangekuwa binguni. <laughs> Kumbe hii biashara tumefundishwa na Lucifer? Aki hawapati nafasi hata ya kwenda kani? Wakitafuta nini? Na hawazipati wanaenda wanakopa mshwari mshwari wanalipa na KCB KCB wanalipa na Shiro yaani wana <laughs> sasa wameongezewa shetani mwingine <laughs> kila mtu wako hasora kazi ni kukopa hata saa hii wasikizi mahubiri wako kwa simu wakifanya nini I wish mungepata mwenye pesa kwanza mukimupata Yesu hagai mbili nane inaniambia Yesu ndiye mwenye dhahabu na fedha zote shetani ni kuiba aliziba Baka zile ziko na shetani ni za nani Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Na hapo ndio ninasema pasa hata kahaba akileta pesa hata askari akileta pesa hata kama ilikuwa ya hongo kwa barabara ichukue <laughs> nafaa kurudishwa kwa mwe <laughs> Sasa huu mtu ametubu, amejua amefanya vibaya, ameleta sadaka kanisani, mmeanza kusema hii pesa hatuta. Ni si yako. We usichukue niamu. So alikuwa mwanabiashara suku. Huyu ni mwenye hekima sana shetani ni chote. Hebu ruka uangalie vile Mungu alimuumba. Uko wapi? Uko fungu gani? Tuharakishi. Verse 5. Ruka sasa, ruka sasa uende kwa 13. Nasema hivi? Eh. Uh, verse... Sikia vile Mungu alimuumba vizuri Luciferi. Uh. Alimuumba kuliko viumbe vyote. Eh. Uh. Ulikuwa ndani ya Edeni? Wewe Luciferi hata Mungu akiumba pale Edeni, wewe Luciferi ulikuwa hapo. Uh. Bustani ya Mungu. Ulikuwa kwa bustani ya Mungu wewe. Kila Lucifer. jiwe la dhamani na kila jiwe la Nadhamani eh, ilikuwa kifuniko chako. Ilikuwa kifuniko maana yake pale you are clothing, you are dressing. Akilusifa was dressed with wonderful kitenges. <laughs> Kwa nini mambo ulifa kitenge? Leo utaona. <laughs> Unajua wa mama wengine wakifaa ya Tanzania wakija kanisani wanataka wapewe kiongozi wa wama na wanavana kwa vingine inakaisha. <laughs> Sikiza vitenge shetani alikuwa anafanya nini? Aki hata iwezi hiyo hata iwezi karibia. Ehe, hebu tuendelee. Soma ehe. Kiki alikuwa asubuhi sana anavaa kitenge cha akiki na yakuti majano. Na, na saa tano anavaa yakuti ma majano. Na wewe kako ukivaa wiki moja Unataka hata ukienda kwa wamama wa kuchague chairman. <laughs> Wewe ni sisa ya shetani. <laughs> Kuji. Ukipewa tu mamuraka kidogo hivi 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 hivi. Wewe ni deputy commandant aki watu wa tarara. Ibaka <laughs> watambue wewe nina. Yeah. Ukiitwa reverend. Gani? Sasa Lazima ukipita watu wanapiga mago unataka kuwa Mungu mu The greatest evil you can do it is not to steal it is not to kill it is to attempt to become a god That penalty yake death entano see kifo entano Lucifer kaanza kusikia namna gani Na ni nani amempea hii uzuri wote Ni Mungu It is kana kwamba umsomeshe mtoto apate permanent head done made that is phd <laughs> Alafu akuje akwambie mzee 
kuanzia leo nime graduate na wewe ulifika form 4 kwa hii nyumba ni nani amesoma sana sasa kuanzia leo usikize Il, mahali unarara ni mimi nitakuwa nafanya nini uzae mtoto aseme mahali utakuwa unarara ni mimi nitakuwa na na mimi nitakuwa nasema vile mambo yataenda nikikuita una amepita mipaka ama hajapita mipaka sitaki ni kusome hiyo hadithi enda ujisome peke yako vizuri baada ya Luciferi kutukuzwa na Mungu na kufanywa komanda wa jeshi lote la malaika tunaambiwa na hiyo fungu alikuwa anaketi karibu sana na Mungu kuna malaika aina mbili mbinguni kuna makerubi na kuna masera maserafi maserafi wana mabawa mawili makerubi wana mabawa sita ni, ni maana msomaji ama ni ngapi lakini najua makerabi wana mabawa sita na sio wengi kama Mungu anaketi hapa Luciferi alikuwa anakaa wapi na hapo mimi katika maono yangu inakuelewa kwa Biblia ninaona kiti cha Mungu Baba cha Mwana na Roho Mtaka lakini Luciferi katika kuinuka alikuwa tunaambiwa alikuwa na vinanda katika mwili wa piano na tarumbeta wacha hivyo mnasema hati aruzi aruzi yake haina hata kukuaruza na hata kuweka ki an, akiweka hivyo binguni bingu yote inatu lakini akamwangalia Yesu kazi yake ni kunyama unajua mtu anaweza kukudharau kwa kunyamaza ngeli ngaka na kole ika mtu nayo kazi yake ni kufanya nini lakini be careful with those who keep quiet. Still water runs deep. Akamudharau ye? Hakupata ufahamu ya kwamba huyu ndiye alimumba. Huyu ndiye alimupa utukufu wote. Akaona Yesu ni useless kuketi wapi? Isaiah 14, 12. Do you know what he said? Akapita mipaka. Rusifa akapita mipaka binguni. Ehe. Isaya 14 ehe mstari 12 mstari wa 12 ehe nasema hivi ndio jinsi ulivyoanguka kutoka mbinguni ikafika wakati mmoja kiumbe ambaye aliumbwa vizuri na utukufu mwingi akaanguka akatoka bi ehe tuendelee ewe nyota ya alfajiri Luciferi hakuwa wa hapa alikuwa wa wapi wa mbinguni lakini leo hii tunaishi na ye wapi Alishushwa kutoka wapi? Binguni. Binguni. Kwa nini alishushwa mamlaka? Be careful if you are in position of power. Chief, chunga sana. <laughs> Matendo yako yatakufuata baba. Si chief naambia ni hawa wako nyuma. <laughs> Chunga. Mchungaji. If you are in position of power, be careful. Be careful very much. Utasushwa utarudi mahali wewe pia uitagwe unakuja usifikirie vile unaitana watu wanakuja ni mamlaka yako it is by the grace of god you have been given that position eh tuendelee eh ewe nyota ya alfajiri ewe nyota aliitwa jina nzuri nyota ya alfajiri ukiamuka hivi kwa sababu ya luciferi na utukufu wake na vitenge vyake ambavyo anabadilisha vile anataka alionekana kama nyota ya alfa alfajiri alionekana mzuri sana eh mwana wa asubuhi mwana wa asubuhi jinsi ulivyokatwa kabisa jinsi wewe luciferi umekatwa kabisa kabisa ewe uli uliyewaangusha mataifa wewe ambaye umeangusha mata Eh tuendele. Nawe ulisema moyoni mwako? If it was English, hiyo verse ingesema you said in your heart. Eh? Nitapanda mpaka mbinguni. I will go up to heaven. Eh? Nitakiinua kiti cha juu, changu juu. That kiti cha enzi, hicho kiti cha enzi ambacho hakifai kukaliwa na kiumbe ni cha Cha Mungu. Cha muumba. It is not for created being it is for the creator and there must be a different between the creator and the created beings ama sivyo si hata kwa nyumba kuna tofauti ya baba na watoto si kuna mtaka si kuna yale mama anaweza fanya ambayo watoto hawezi kufanya vivyo hivyo mumba wetu aliweka mipaka na hata sisi tutaona tumewekewa mipaka 
Na Mungu atusaidie tusije tukapita mipaka ya nani? Jamani. Ya Mungu. Yeye alikuwa ameambiwa mahali ita ya kufunikia. Huwa na sha. Ukisoma Isaya sita ukienda mbele za Mungu kuna ethics. Kama askari wana vile wanaenda mbele ya Ruto. Kwani um... <laughs> Na wewe unakuja my dress? <laughs> unaenda kwa kwa nani? Who are you joking with? Devil tried to joke with him. Na hata shetani ni mwanaume. By the way, that man. Hiyo kiumba si mchezo. Kutoka bingu ya tatu Baka hapa. Wewe bu panda hapa kwanza tuambie askari juni yao wanajua kuruka. Nao naga tureeni mzee. Huwa <laughs> <laughs> ujiangushe ofyo. Tutakubeba tukupeleke hospitali kwa fungwe plaza. Kama mwanaume kalitoka wapi? Na baka leo kako hai <laughs> Kali telemushu wana mungu na Kali kwa kamepewa mavazi Moja afunike uso mungu si wakumuangalia tu hivi Ingine afunike mwiri Na mengine ni ya kuruki Arafu muki ya jiego kakugaga my dress My Muka ojea kandisa kaigine kama kenzi mwigine ya fugue Kama my dress by dress <laughs> Soma Isaya sita utajionea we mwenye. Eh, sasa na imepita mipaka na imeelezwa. Unajua wa baba bube ya biwago kwanza bufulike hii kabiko. Unajua huu? Na wewe umekuja na, na viatu hapo. My dress my. Sasa hata kanisa hali ya gari hiyo inaembea. Na hizi nimeweka kwa kabati lakini hizi zenyu mikondi nimeweka wapi? Hapa. Hii ni yangu na baba ye? Lakini mtakula kamoja kamo? Mama akitoka ulikuwa unakula gani wewe juu nimeona mlikuwa akula kama mimi. Kama ndadi watu wengi hapa wanafaa kuwa jela nini? Watu ni wezi. Mama akitoka hivi tunaenda tunatoa pancakes. Alafu tunachukua hizi ngumu tunachanga. Ili zitoshe tunafanya hesabu. Ni nani alipika? Hata jua Sasa jioni anakuja baba amekuja tuko huko jikoni tumeketi ah tuko huko nyumba kubwa tumeketi na kale ka TV kale ka black and white <laughs> kalikuwa kaleni <laughs> Sasa tunakaa baba alikuwa mwenye amani sana kwa watoto lakini mama we wacha tu <laughs> Sasa tuko huko na wale wanaambiwa ni mimi na dada yangu mkubwa wa Mboni Msigu Ni ya baba ye Neshi ya dogu Nekua tu ilaka Sasa wewa aliyaka shia Shia chuka na shia dogu Koko mwale miko ratani Mama akija akiwa huko jikoni Tunasikia Keri Waboi okai <laughs> Tukifika jikoni inafu <laughs> Waboi kaibwe dikwenda kote kenyo nilo <coughs> ni sisi arafu makucha ni ya wale wa mama wakuli <laughs> aki ukichunwa ni kama umeumwa na meni <laughs> nilisema na unagani nilisema na unagani nilisema na unagani dolake hiki liyo nilo ugo <laughs> tiki okele hile meko rogo ya <laughs> yaani wewe wamboi wewe umekura chapati za baba ya kwa sababu wamekua buwana ya si nilisema ni yangu na Bwana ya? Yenyu ilikuwa kani? Na ya kia liyo kaha? Dole kia. Kuja hapa kia li. Kwanza wewe 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 hiketia wewe. Nota. Nalilia. Sikuere wa antiri nilipo enda darasa ya biology. Nika fuzwa. Nika gundua kitu. Kumbe mama alikuwa naweka mupa? Nyinyi ni watoto musipita wapi? Hii ni mupaka ya wazazi na nani? Na kama kuna kitu kita kusaidia kufauru hii dunia Ukifanyo wa chief Usijaribu kufuka kwa DC Kawa Kala sichola sako yako Ukijaribu kita umaga Kama wei ni pasa kako mbipaka ya Na kama wei ni mshiriki kako mbipaka ya nani Usijaribu kuingia kwa pasa Kita umaga And it will bring serious repercussion Kufuka tu mbipaka Siku moja niliuliza wengine you think that is a joke Kama vile mimi sasa tulikuwa urafiki na John we were really friends he could invite you Royce anaweza testify 
anything he want anything for pastoral service pastor Kiarijo vile alinipea hiyo heshima yake siku moja niende niambie kina magi mzee hajafika eh waacha niingie hapa kwa kitanda yake nilale kidogo <laughs> akikuja ataniambia asante sana rafiki yangu <laughs> if he will get a gun i think it is the best tool chunga mi chunga mi otherwise you are not facing this death you are facing eternal you will die forever and ever sasa ninapomalizia <laughs> <laughs> Ata nimesha kusomea baka hiyo ingine inaitwa Genesis 2:15. Kwaya by Adam na Eve waliambiwa mkule matunda. Sio mnajua tumefunzwa Sunday school na Sabbath schools. Mkule matunda yote ya shamba gani? Lakini hiyo lakini hiyo hamuijui kwa Hebrew. It is a very serious lakini ambayo inaweka mpa na inaweka mfungo. Musiguze tunda la ujuzi wa mema na ma kwa sababu mtaka apofanya nini hakika yake no doubt no discussion entano you will die forever so they had even adam na ifa walipoumbwa walikuwa na condition of mortality kama adam na ifa hawange alikula tunda leo hii hatunge kwa kwa haya masishi it is the repercussion of adam na ifa kupita mipaka ya nani na ukisoma tatu tano Lucifer anawaambia namna gani? Tunapokaribia kumaliza. Lucifer anapokuta Adam na Eve, kia anawahubiria ile tabia mbaya alifanya binguni. Akafuku. Hiyo ndiye anafunza Adam na Eve na wakakubali na walipokubali kikaumana. Sasa uzao wote wa Adam, yoyote yako na hii nyama hii. I'm sorry to tell you hebu salimia mwenzako kama huko na hii nyama kama huko na hii nyama ah, kama huko wa chuma usimsalimie <laughs> mwambie habari yako candidate wa kufa <laughs> whether you are a pastor whether you are a nani nani hata kama wewe ni bishop hata kama wewe ni mighty prophet death ni vile mjakutana na mzee ki uone wewe huko kwa list na mangapi And God have allowed it. And God is not the author of death. God is the author of eternal life. Na Mungu hafurahi kifo. And I am sorry to tell you wale mnahubiri mnasema Mungu amemchuku. Ampeleke wapi? There is no mortal in heaven. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shetani na dhambi ndio walileta ki? Gaido ya kamodu. Ate gaini alamu hoi kwanza hakikoi yenyewe ni damu kali. Alafu wale moto wako. Alafu wengine wanakuja na filosofia zao ambao hawana historia yao. Mimi najua sana tukiwa na wachungaji ya kina Aristotle, Plato na Herodotus. Filosofia. Unajua philosophy is something that can say something ambayo inaonekana ni ukweli lakini si nini? Kina Plato waliposhindwa kujijibu maswali ya mtu wa kifa anaenda wapi? Wakabuni sehemu zehemu ambazo hazi exist. You can find them nowhere. Siku utaipata ukuje unilete. Ati umweke mahali pema pepo. I'm sorry today. Mimi na Muraza John mahali pema kaburini. Agoje! Baka Yesu afanye nini? No where you go when you die unakufa sasa. <laughs> Na hata ukumbuki hata msiende ukumbusho. Yaani unaenda kukumbuka ni? Nothing is there. Ah, nitakuonyesha hiyo kidogo. Eh. Sasa Luciferi akaambia Adam na Eve, soma. Mstari wa 4 inasema hivi nyoka akamwambia mwanamke, Ehe. hakika hamtakufa. Hamtakufa. Kwa maana Mungu anajua, ya kwamba siku mtakayo kula matunda ya mti huo, mtafubuliwa macho, Ehe. nanyi mtakuwa kama Mungu. Na by the way shetani anaongea ukweli uongo mtupu. Habana, shetani anaongea 99% wa ukwe, ukweli. Alafu anaweka ka uongo kadogo. Wa mama mkipitupikia chai alafu muweke ka poison. No. Yote inakuwa ni chai. Chai. <laughs> so shetani anakuja anakuambia kila kitu. Sawa. 
ukweli wa mambo walipokula tunda walifunguka macho hapo hawakufunguka walijipata wako uti hapo hawakuja lakini kitu waliwaambia hakuwaambia mkifunguka macho mtaona nini <laughs> so akawaambia mukira mutakuwa kama nani oh so what was the agenda wakue nani they wanted to be god and that is what Lucifer wanted and i am happy saa ingine na struggle kuhubiri hii mahubiri nikiwa sina askari karibu leo nashukuru askari dunia yote iko hapa <laughs> na siku moja nilieleza pasa jamba hii story na akasema and indeed pasa jamba mkimuona mumsalimie najua nimekuja hapo kiganjo sana by the way ni vile sikupata ku interact na nyinyi <laughs> eh, other days so pasa jamba is my friend so Lucifer what he did akasema kwa moyo wake he said Isaiah 14 12 he said i will mtu akisema i can nikikuja ni nikwambie pasa naweza kukuinua na hiki tu nikurushe huko alafu nikuja nikwambie nikwambie i can lift you and throw away you are win alafu nikwambie i will throw you up Tukija watu wawili, mmoja akwambia I can. Na mwingine akwambie I will. Hebu nione kama mlikora school fees ya wazazi bure. <laughs> What is the different? Who do you fear? Wangapi wanasema ni will? Wangapi wanasema ni can? Wangapi wamechanganyikiwa? <laughs> will Amare de eh, tumeru. Najua mumeru akikwambia nitakukata alishafanya nini. <laughs> Ndio nilisikia hizo vituko lakini nimekuja kugundua si ukweli wa mambo. Yes, because sasa mimi ni shemeji huko. Ni vile tunapenda kuharibiana wa Kenya majina. Uh, unataka ku stereotype kabila na hiyo ishindwe katika jina la Yesu. You know I fear that to be an seventh day Adventists juniliambia wa Kisini waja. But when I came no wonderful people like Kisi tribe hata hao wanachukia uchawi bwana Yesu asivivu So those stereotyping things it is a Lucifer umepita mipaka pale ni kashetani kadogo kama una stereotype what So <laughs> So eh Lucifer akutumia I can saying I can ni kusema niko na pote Nikikwambia madam commandant ninaweza vaa hiko via yako Hiyo <laughs> nikusema niko na pote isikusumbue sana lakini nikisema nitafa I have already made the So in heaven Lucifer said I will sit on the throne of God Na, na Ezekiel 1:5 inasema aje eh, nimeona eh, Ezekiel 1:5 inasema aje eh. So ninakwambia origin of death <coughs> Ezekiel death and turn of death. Eh. Ezekiel 1. Eh. Mstari. Angalia hapo mwanzo tu. Endo Ezekiel 28 uanze moja hapo. Ezekiel 28. Mhm. Mstari wa kwanza inasema hivi. Eh. Neno la Bwana likanijia tena eh. kusema eh. mwanadamu eh. mwambie mkuu wa Tiro and metaphorically mkuu wa Tiro anafananishwa na shetani eh. Bwana Mungu asema hivi Bwana Mungu asema hivi kwa kuwa moyo wako umeinuka kwa kuwa moyo wako umeinuka na wewe umesema na wewe umesema mimi ni Mungu akasema yeye ni nani ni Mungu sasa askari muniambie siku Ruto atakuja eneo hili na kwa sababu mimi ni rafiki ya hasura mimi Si ni mabe. Kabla afike nikwambie asikali. Hii kiti ya Ruto nikusikia tu. Wacha nikae wapi. Bwana <laughs> mnacheka. Si mirali msisemage tunda. Kura tunda ambalo lilistahiki kuliwa na Mungu peke. Tonde. Umepita nini? and kupita mipaka according to god it is capital punishment of eternal like it is in kenya you there you there one day useme hata wewe useme wewe ni mzee ni walika ya baba ya nani wewe didi hao uga rekejika ya utajua hao ndugu vile ndio utajua wajaokoka ulisikia wanasema bwana yesu utafinywa 
Tunapomaliza ndugu wapendo kwa sababu ya masaa. I think already you have something. Mwanadamu alipofanya hivyo akahukumiwa Adam na ifu akahukumiwa kifo. Na kwa sababu sisi wote tulikuwa ndani ya Adam. Tunapata na mau. Lakini I have got good news. Tulikuwa ukifa unakufa milele na milele na unasahau. Lakini ukisoma katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa pili tano moja Ji, kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo tambi that is the root of sin. Hii dhambi zingine leote inatoka kwa hiyo mzizi. Mungu kwa sababu hakumuumba mwanadamu aishi muda mfupi. Hakumuumba mwanadamu aangamie kwa upendo wake mkuu. Akafanya jambo la maana. Hiyo ndiyo story nataka kumaliza nayo mwisho. Na ni, ni illustration. Nataka tu watu wawili wa kujitole. Two people. Ai, amuja waokoka bana. Two people wa kujitole. Itaita nani? Kuja, kuja. Wewe msomaji goja. Ah, thank you Afande. Huyu ni mshiriki wangu ni Afande mwingine mzuri sana. Nataka mtu mwingine mmoja. Just one person. Come, come, come. Kuja. Nataka kuwafanyia illustration ya vile utashinda kifo. Na hii mambo yanafanyika kwa ima You don't need money to achieve this. You don't need education to achieve this. You don't need any position to achieve this. You need to believe in the word of If you believe in it, you have overcome eternal death. So, nataka kuwa il- kufanya illustration. Wacha muniruhusu huyu ni muita uhuru Kenya. Kenyata. Uhuru Kenyata si ni soko. Na huyu ni muita God did exchange ambayo inafanyika kwa kila anaye ami Uhuru Kenyatta akutembere akwambie dada Mama Mboga nimea, nimeona nimetosheka na utajiri wangu nimekaa tajiri sana mpaka nimeto Sasa nimekuona tu na unajua hata akujui amekuja tu akachagua mama mboga mmoja yoyo by grace not because you have done anything so you don't need to do anything good salvation it is not by good works it is by the grace of who we deserved to perish grace is being given something that you don't kwani hapa kuna mtu amenifanyia kitu leo kuna mtu na pengine mwingine atadhani hii nitampea juu unaona vile wanapenda pesa <laughs> unadhani una nitakupea juu wewe ni mkubwa what if ni decide kupea huyu mtoto utanipeleka wapi sini yangu so god gives salvation kwa yoyote ambaye anataka kumu na usirarambike ukiona maraya amepewa salvation he gave to Mary Magdalene mafarisayo wakarara bati ukweli mchungu mbele magidali ni atapatikana binguni jina la Mungu lisifiwe so what akaja tu akachagua abra uh, just hivyo bila kufikiria akapata huyu mama mboga uhuru akamwambia huyu mama mboga utajiri wangu nimechoka kukaa na nimemisi kuwa maski akanamwambia twende tutafute wakili mwenye unajua tubadilishane maji na kegorka monda ah, na wewe Wairimo tuko na Monda na Wai Monda ni tajiri kama Uhuru Kenyatta waende kwa wakili Monda aseme tuna sign affidavit mi kuanzia leo nitaitwa Wairi na wewe utaitwa nani <laughs> Na kwa hii biashara atashtuka sana kwa nini niitwe Monda mimi Amwambie utaitwa Monda kwa sababu moja mali yangu yote itakuwa ya na yako itakuwa Yo biashara wa elimu unaweza penda. Yeah. <laughs> Wangapi wanaweza penda biashara kama hiyo tunapomaliza? <laughs> that is the business that was transacted on the cross of Calvary. Whereby Jesus surrendered his position to miserable, poor, hopeless, useless human being. Ambaye alisaiki ku Ah, musiende, musiende. Koja, change his position. Huyu alisaiki mauti ya mi? Yesu akachukua mauti ya nini? Huyu alikuwa na uzima wa? Huyu akachukua uzima wa nini? Kwa ima? 
ya Mungu hivyo ndivyo alitimiza mpango wake wa milele ambao shetani alijaribu kubadilisha kwa kuvuka mipa si unisome hiyo fungu basi tufunge man aitanishwe na Yesu aitwe mukri amefuka muto wa mauti ya milele japo arare usingizi kama ndugu John asubuhi njema Mungu atampatia hiyo position aitwe wa kuishi milele na Ehe, soma tusikie kama hivi. Yeye asiyejua dhambi. Yesu ambaye hakujua dhambi, alimfanya kuwa dhambi kwa ajili yetu. Mungu alimfanya kuwa dhambi kwa ajili yetu ili sisi tupate kuwa haki ya Mungu katika yetu. Ili sisi tupate kuwa watakatifu katika yeye. Sisi ambayo tulikuwa wenye dhambi, tukimwamini Yesu na kazi nzuri alifanya msarabani Calvary, Aka, akafa kwa niaba death. And whoever believes in Jesus Christ have overcome eternal death na asubuhi njema, huyo ndiye atapatikana katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele. Na ndiyo Biblia inasema kwa maana jinsi gani? Hey. Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. Wacha kusema ulimwengu, Mungu alinipenda mimi kali. Hata akamtoa mwanae wa pekee. Ili kila awe mzee. Amuaminie. Awe nani? As, apata uzima wa pata hiyo uzima wa milele ukifa unakufa kabi Baka asubuhi nje. Nisome la mwisho niachie hapo. Kolin nini ukoherezi tatu 319 ina mwanya bantu weze muleta na yele baya akasema yuri anaye linga sa asilinge kwa sababu ye akona asilinge kwa sababu akona asilinge kwa sababu akona ma ya mirele pamoja na lusiferi amen Njia ni ngapi? Mbili. Utachagua mwe? Moja. Njia ni mbili, njia ni mbili. Utachagua mwenyewe ya kwanza njia ya kwenda binguni, ya pili njia ya kwenda moto ni chagua. Njia ya kwenda binguni. Kuliko njia ya kwenda because the decision is you. Wale wanasema Yesu ulirudipo na neema yako kubwa na nguvu zako za wokovu zishindao nguvu za shetani kaburi na mauti. Mimi nataka kuwa katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele. Fiatuka usimame juu. Kama hutaki ukiona mtu anajikokota anachukua round about. Kuja uombe hawa wote ambao wamekubali. <laughs> Basi tumesikia ngu anatayarishia Yesu alisema ya kwamba msiwe na wasiwasi naketi kusikiza neno hiyo na chia kwamba hiyo neno thank you very much for standing us from the beginning up to today uh, again there is a couple of families that uh, have uh, housed uh, John and his family as uh, he sought treatment both in Nairobi and uh, in Nakuru uh, that is uh, my family there is also the Jarambas and Phyllis who hosted us in Nakuru Mungu awabariki sana Uh, then there is a family of John uh, led by Mina, uh, Charles, Mina, Joki, Inta, Jane, David, Linus, who's also the secretary of the committee. You have been, uh, you have stood with uh, John's family uh, up to today, and we want to thank you very much. Uh, the in-laws, uh, led by uh, Pastor uh, Doctor Retired uh, F.K. Wangai, Papa uh, Mukuro, Ernest. Uh, Papa Joe and uh, uh, James, thank you very much. And uh, we also want to thank you, the cousins who uh, uh, stood by us. And uh, specifically, I'd like to mention uh, the Matus, Gojos, the team uh, from El Bagon. Again, thank you for all the support you have given us. And uh, there is one niece I would like uh, to mention. She read for us the eulogy. Uh, Maggie, we call her Maggie Big. She has been very instrumental in uh, this uh, process. Uh, as we were battling uh, with uh, the disease, uh, there are people who uh, have been told to identify as prayer warriors, uh, led by the late Margaret Karioki, uh, John's uh, late mom, and uh, mom and father-in-law, Lucy and uh, Joe. Uh, thank you very much. Then there is a community called the Mafo community. Uh, the place uh, where John was residing is called Mayoenya. 
uh, but uh, we have a slang for it. We call it Mafo community. And uh, in particular, we'd like to uh, mention uh, Mr. Joseph Jenga, Kanaido Asobe. He has uh, been very, very instrumental and has really assisted the family uh, through um, this whole process. Uh, when John was no longer able to drive, uh, he volunteered and he has been, he has been the chauffeur uh, for the family to go to Dakuru, wherever they needed to go. Uh, so Bay has been there, uh, not asking to be paid, but as a volunteer. And we really thank you also, uh, Baba Sobe, for even leading the preparations. What you are seeing, all these preparations that you have seen here, uh, Baba Sobe has been uh, first and foremost at the front of uh, making sure everything is working. The Kabazi community, Adwai Tora, uh, a special thank you to you uh, for the way you have shown up uh, to, uh, to, uh, to mourn with us from yesterday, from uh, the beginning of this week when you started coming here. Uh, the clearing, what we are seeing here has uh, largely been uh, led by the community and we want to say thank you very much. Um, also the medical fraternity, a few doctors would like to mention, Dr. Siwilis, Dr. Wanjala, Dr. Obure, Dr. Washira. Uh, the hospitals that we have been to, uh, starting with the uh, Outspan, uh, Kenyatta, St. Benedict, and the uh, War Memorial, where John rested. Uh, there is a group that was formed on WhatsApp uh, to help us with the raising of the funds. The group has been very vibrant, and uh, we can say we, are, we have not uh, left the family with a big burden out of uh, the process of uh, preparing and uh, getting a resting place for John. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who have contributed uh, to this uh, worthy cause. Um, and uh, there is a particular special mention of Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Kemenjo, who were instrumental in uh, John starting his career with the National Police Service. And uh, as I speak about National Police Service, I would like to say a special thanks to the team uh, from uh, Keganjo, uh, the Keganjo community. Uh, led, uh, by uh, the commandant uh, who is uh, represented here by Madam Esther Mwangi, we really want to thank you. Uh, you have been John's family in a way that uh, has been phenomenal. From the time he started his career to the time he became unwell, uh, you were the ones taking care of him, uh, bringing him fruits when he could not be able to go to the shop and uh, get something to eat. Thank you, thank you very much. The commandant gave us one particular team uh, led uh, by uh, one Mr. Ambai who came and politely told us, John is our man. And if we need to come and do anything, we will do it. We must give John the send of that uh, a man of his teacher deserves. And I will really want to thank uh, the Keganjo team. All of us who are here, do all the two uh, the committee did not expect uh, this kind of a turnout and it just shows uh, what kind of a man John was uh, to all of us and so thank you for stopping doing what you are doing to come and uh, be with us as we finish uh, this process and uh, of course there's a committee led by the man who has been uh, the MC Wanajogu and uh, the members of your committee we really want to thank you for steering us to where we are and uh, we believe uh, even as uh, we go to finish uh, the rest of the process that you will continue to, uh, to be ably uh, guide, uh, guiding us so that uh, we finish well and in good time. Thank you. Asante Nisana, Nidhek Yuk. God bless you. Gayamuradi. Thank you. Bonawangai. Negosho Kari Adwashi Ogada. Nakori Kogana Izuera. Udito Marutete. Without much ado, Nikataka Kumita, Bona Samuel, Mkuzi, Atuongoze, Kwa Kuzidikisha, Miruwa John, Kwa Kaburi, Karibu.
tunapoelekeza wenzetu mali pake pa kuzika tunaomba kanisa itakuwa mbele alafu madam nimeeleza watu tutafada madam wangishi alafu familia Nasema ni pastors tu wanakuwa mbele katika kesi. Hii sasa familia tafadhali madam Louis. Deni eh kwaya nyuma ya Na wengine sasa. Unisikia? Nanisikia.
kitabu cha ufunuo 21 tunapoenda kuteremsha mwili na tunapofunguliwa jo wengi wenyu mjahudhuria masishi kama haya msije mkaogopa ndugu zetu wanapofanya heshima kwa mmoja wao isasi itakapolia sio wewe inalenga kwa hivyo utulie relax bwana Yesu asifiwe na mkumbuke Kumbuke waoga hawataenda bingu. <laughs> Don't fear. Haya, <laughs> tunasomea wafungu ili naye yule wa kuteremsha mwili awe tayari. Revelation 21 tunasomewa kuanzia verse 1 up. New heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. 
There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. So, tunaishi in former dispensation ambaye na kuja kupita. Whereby we have to cry, we have to die, we have to suffer. But John saw another dispensation. When Jesus will come back, na hata kaporudi, this is the good news ambayo ningependa kila mmoja wetu aende nayo ya kwamba ingawa tumemuraza ndugu John huo sio mwisho wa mambo Yesu ajapo asubuhi njema wewe ambaye hata ulifiriwa kitambo kaachwa mjane ukaachwa yatima Yesu mwenyewe atabanguza watu machozi na hatutalia tena na kifo hakita kuwapo tena kama ningalisoma wakorinto wa kwanza 15:26 inasema adui wa mwisho ambaye Mungu atamwangamiza ni kifo chenyewe
Okay. Tunaomba ile wa hapa tusaidie kuondoa. Hizi polisas tunapoweka wimbo tunapoondolewa ili tupande sehemu hii. Polisas Kolistas, kolistas. Ume kimbia. Tarume taya mwana itaka poli ya mara. Mirele itaka popa majuka. Na wawi wataka poku sanyika. Iweko. Saidia mchanga Wawe karibu Siku gile wataka Tifu wataka
tu ya kwamba eh, tutayane nafasi ya kwamba eh, mchanga
Oh, no. 
Familia ni nani, mamu, na watoto, ketu tuletewe, familia yote ishike uwa la familia, waliwe pale katikati. Oh, hii ni ya mke, kumbe kuna zaidi, e, mke panza, weka katikati ya pukabisi. Tutakapo pufuka, tutakua maua maua kabisa dhambi itakapokoma sasa tuite familia ingine watoto yes watoto muende muweke pale pale nyuma kidogo karibu na ya mamu ama muweke hapa muweke hapa muweke hapa tu mbele weka ikiwa closed weke tu hapa mbele ikikaa hivi yes Thank you, kwa pamoja Watoto Thank you Tuweke tu hapa mahali mbele ya mamu Mahali ya meweka Kae hivi Sawa Mweke Thank you wengine tutaita kanisa kanisa wapewe walao wale wa shiriki wa tifols mje hapa naona mama mrs elders ni hapa mshike uahidi kwa niaba mna pamoja na elders 
kwa niaba ya kanisa kwa sababu ya rafiki yetu John tukiwa na imani atafufuka akiwa maua kweli kweli Yes tulishike mweke hapo pande hii okay ni pande hii kwa pamoja kanisa sorry then thank you kanisa hapo katikati so brothers na i think baka na sisters wote pamoja sio bebe ni renyu ukirileta muliweke pale mwisho pale pale mwisho kabisa brothers sisters mko wapi siwe brothers pek sisters walipotea Mweke pale nyuma vizuri. Yes. wanamuita ankos kwa api nis na nevius wa ndugu john ete ni maua yenyu maende mweke upande ule mweje muliweke karibu na hili la mandugu ete ni mkaweke hako Santi tuna imani ndugu Nevis na Nis na muke na watoto tutakuepo asubuhi hiyo njema sisi zote tukiwa wazuri weka upande huu weka hapa chini tafadhali hapa karibu na hili kabisa thank you sasa kuna wale ambao mko nalo una ruhusa ya kulipanda na msipande mahali pamoja mu distribute ili kae smart kwa sababu hata wengine watapenda kupiga picha thank you God bless you ubarikiwe upande huu hampandi hapo round mupande mahali pajapando unapanda hapo yes ndivyo tutakuta tumeandaliwa meza ya kioo mbinguni na maua ya yenye mvuto tutapumzika mite na yetu haya asante usiondoke tufanye ombi la mwisho tuombe safari na ninasikia pia kuna chakula ingawa kuna wengine walipita mipaka wakakula kabla ya masaa kini tumewasamehe <laughs> tumewasamea juu Yesu hata hawa nawapenda next time ngoje bingunia wanaovumilia kwa hivyo tutaomba tuombe na chakula na tuombe na safari zetu hey tunapiga kelele utulifu wa dakika moja ona kidogo twaamini tuombe Uishie mahala pa juu mbinguni na unyenyekevu wote na shukrani nyingi moyoni kwa sababu kazi hii tangu ndugu yetu alale John tulikuuliza utuongoze na tukaomba ikamilike vizuri kwa sababu wakati mwingine shetani hujitukuza katika mambo haya au kumpa nafasi ya kujitukuza kazi imekamilika vizuri Tunashukurani nyingi mfalme wa mbinguni uhimidiwe milele na milele. Baba mwema, baada ya haya shetani angalipo angependa kutugojea barabarani na ajali. Tunamkemea katika jina la Yesu. Tunakuuliza tusafiripo sisi wote 
marafiki na familia na kanisa utuzingire utufunike na damu ya Yesu. Jioni kila mmoja wetu akifika kwake salama, jina lako litahimidiwa milele na milele. Ombi letu kubwa tunapoondoka hapa kwa neema yako. Hebu tukaliamini neno lako ambalo linasema kila atakaye muamini Yesu, kila atakaye mkubali awe mwokozi wa maisha yake, kila atakaye tupu dhambi zake kwa jina la Yesu. Ukweli wa mambo Yesu urudipo atapatikana katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele. Ombi langu ni kwamba hawa wote ambao wako hapa, Yesu urudipo majina yaitwapo, hebu na yetu zote tupatikane katika kitabu hicho ili tukuje mbinguni tuishi na wewe milele na milele na imani yetu ni kwamba tukiwa huko tutamuona ndugu John tena tutafurahia na tutapeana testimony ya vile tulihudunika na vile machozi yetu sasa yamepanguzwa familia ya John uinde na uitunze uijenge ukuta mkubwa wa jeshi la malaika uwafunikie na damu ya Yesu na siku zote uwaongoze na wingu na roho mtakatifu. Baba mwema, tunaomba ya kwamba katika maisha yao wasirigrete kwa nini baba yao aliwaacha. Wale wanahitaji kusoma, wasome sasa kwa sababu wewe ndio mwenye dhahabu zote na fedha. Siku nyingine tukipata nafasi twende kukushukuru kwa dada Roy kwa sababu watoto wake wote wamefanikiwa. Wema wako utotoshe, jina lako litukuzwe. Sasa hata milele ya kuja kwako tumenyenyekea kwako tukiamini umetusikia na umekubali ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na hata kwa mimi zote tuseme Amen. Mungu wetu awabariki sana. Awatende mambo mema, ajibu maombi yenu yote katika jina la Yesu. Mubarikiwe. Nafikiria tuombewe chakula na na chai. Ya utaongoza.